Mr. Joe, you no good guy. You no good guy. Shut your fucking mouth. I'm not a great man. Catholic grade school, I was blowing a lot of dudes. Freda, Julie. Ten people. Oh, my Gino. I've been, I've been. Hit the like button, you fucking cowards. Show me the number. Julie Empire. Oh, this is fantastic. I've never felt so alive. I can't even take my own show anymore. I'm embarrassed for me. I was beat. Infected. React. Yeah, just that bubble. I bite the the money. Preach to the choir. I'm right here. I'm just... What about me, Bob? Is he gonna come and hurt me? Catholic grade school, I was blowing a lot of dudes. Grabbed Ooh. my fist and then he raped me. This guy's dick in my ass. Ten people. Oh my Gino. Who the fuck am I? Are we doing it? We're doing it. Are we doing it? We're doing it. 
doing it. We're 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 doing it. You're fat and you talk like a moron. Guys, dick in my ass. Bob, remember we I stayed at your house and we slept in a bed together? Um, I've been I've had a I've had a, I've been I've been uh I've been I've been I've been, I've been I never had a desire to go into the middle. This is content. We're live from my parking lot. Window update. I eat cock. I eat cock. I eat cock. Lad, we know who is a piece of shit. His face is red, his eyes are dead, his lips are full of spit. He's got a famous brother and one unhappy wife. And misery's the thing that he loves the most in life. Oh, Auntie Karen, Auntie Karen, why do you act so? Always complaining, never paying the people that you owe. Auntie Karen, Auntie Karen, would you kindly go? I'm guessing not, you fucking twat, is the Auntie Karen show. I'm guessing not, you fucking twat, is the Auntie Karen show. Mike Morse! <laughs> Hello, everybody, welcome! I don't care! I don't care either <laughs> to the Auntie Karen show, ladies and gentlemen. Yours truly up here, Mike Morse down there, Bob Levy up top, and our guest today, the man of the hour. You know him, the Tower of Power, the King of Sting, the one, the only, Carl H. Berger. What's <laughs> up, buddy? What is happening? I'm sorry, Ray DeVito wasn't available, but I could uh, fill in at the last minute tonight. <laughs> hey, just borrow his jokes. I hear everybody's yeah. just borrowing jokes anyways. For stuff, Busy so. writing down <laughs> jokes. I, say, yeah, right. I, I said, one thing you count on in this dabble verse is the person complaining about something the most is usually guilty of mm -hmm. that thing. And a, a guy like Ray, this is what I've heard. A guy like Ray, you know, for months and months, pick up a pen, pick up a pen. And now I hear that he's uh, using jokes, recycling old roast jokes and shit. So, yeah, ironic. And the, and the one that he recycled, the one about Brody Stevens and a stretch with his neck was not even a good roast joke. So convoluted. And now, have you heard there's rumors going around about uh, uh, the prize money? Have you heard uh, what's being said, these allegations? Because I don't know. I don't know the story. I, I didn't even watch the roast. So I, I know that people, heavy hitters, donated, I guess, for a prize pool, right? Uh, I well, don't last, know if that's Last I heard, and tell me if this is where you're going with this, Ray DeVito said he would split the money with Chad for no reason, even though he completely won and deserves all the prize money. 
He said he would split. No. Is that what you're talking about? No. What I've heard is that Ray and Chad both walked with 500, and what was given as far as prize money was a lot more than 500. See, this was somebody sent me this screenshot on on uh, NLO, Patrick's show. Kevin pocketed a majority of the $3,600 roast prize pool. Chandler is not happy. The Lance News Network is investigating. Let me tell you something. Lance News Network, you don't want them on your bad side. You know, well, you, you know who invented not having any talent or doing anything and keeping all the money is stuttering John. So Kevin's S learning from the best. Speaking of, we have some breaking stuttering John news. I hate to cross streams right now, but they really are the same person. Uh, so this big news, a tweet from. Uh, Wait well, a minute. We just got this in the breaking news, breaking news. Uh, OK, wow. so here's the latest tweet from Cardiff. I 100 percent stand. With Vinny Paulino, the vitriol, hate, and bashing of him by stuttering John needs to stop now. If this is how you treat people trying to help you, it will be difficult for you to find others to help you. I am now and forever <laughs> Vignette, uh, and I'll give you 36 hours to apologize. So now John <laughs> replied. 36 <laughs> hours. Yeah. yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's like a day and a half. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when Chip goes, we're going to end uh, countdown from 18. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> people are busy uh, in the election time. So now here's John's reply. Um, which is the way you always want to start. Uh, said, um, how about the vital tried to spell vitriol yep. uh, there? How about the vital hate and bashing of me that Vinny Paulino has done to me? Helping me? You call doing a show the night before my show trashing me is helping me? You're a biased, twisted, and evil <laughs> potato. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got so the word that, me in there a lot. Yeah. yeah I noticed well, that. I, I did fix this if you want to do that now. I did grade it. Oh, yeah, okay. there it is. It's, so, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, oh, and biased and commas and fucking. Yeah. Oh uh, well, God, it, look at that. yeah, he says, uh, how about the vitriol? Of course, spelled it wrong. Hate and bashing of me. You don't need that because he says that Vinnie Polino has done to me. So right. He, yeah. So that's a uh, unnecessary and just bad sentence structure. Helping me. You called doing a show the night before my show. Helping me. Uh, you, you don't put is. Is how you. Well, and also helping me is in a sense. Well, well, <laughs> he just yeah, help, he yeah. ends. Yeah. Paulino has done to me, then writes two words, question mark, and then goes on uh, and yeah. bashes the rest of this fucking right. language. I gave, him, I gave him a pass on that because it's like if he was speaking, he would say that. Uh, you know, So you called doing a show that night before my show, trashing me, helping me, should be in quotes. He's, you know, he has trouble with quotes. Yeah. And then you're a biased, twisted, and evil potato. D. I mean, because, you know, those are a couple of high school words. So okay. he's on a, like an well, Hold on a second, Mike. Could you start a sentence with um? I, I would give him a, uh, a D minus I, for that. Yeah, well, yeah. It, yes. You but, know what? F, yeah. F plus, John. F plus. <laughs> in, in the world of tweeting, uh, you know, you're, you're more, you know, naturalistic. So I, I gave him a, a pass. Now, but you're right. You shouldn't. Uh, go ahead. So what's the next one? Okay, here we go, Carl. I don't know if you saw this, but this is good. Look, no. fans of the Dabbleverse, I know Cardiff Electric's name, but as I have said, I will never dox him. Unless, of course, he continues his hate campaign. <laughs> oh, there we go. There it is. Uh, there it is. He fucked his mother. <laughs> John I think is as you predictable as a solar yeah. eclipse. Like, you, no, you just really your watch by it. It's oh. unbelievable. So now we have, I guess his strike was lifted. It's not a copyright. <laughs> I get somebody owned the shit porn that was played on his show. So he got <laughs> that was my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thank you two for realizing that vile racist who infiltrated my show that you sent a link to uh, was not planned nor approved by me and dropped their copyright strike against me. I guess they reviewed the video and realized how shocked and appalled I was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When they saw you throw your Nana's blanket off your lap, they knew this was serious. <laughs> that wasn't a <laughs> copyright strike. That's what I'm saying. No one, Nobody yeah, owns no the shit video. <laughs> That's hilarious. What are the idiots? Mine had corn in it. Let me look at that again. <laughs> hey, play it back. Play it back. Yeah, so so that's the lay. So it looks like it's all going down between Vinny and Cardiff. And and I'm glad to see Cardiff having Vinny's back. That that's what a buddy mm. should do. Yeah. Uh, have and, all and, of his back. 
Yeah. <laughs> I want it back. <laughs> so now, <laughs> so now uh, I mean, he's down to just himself at this show. No, that's uh, not true. What do you Vinny mean? Vinny the lawyer. Vinny the lawyer oh, is yeah. offered to help him. Oh, he's going to play the so, role of Cardiff in the uh, Q&A oh, and moderating everything. Unbelievable. If you would have said a month ago, <laughs> Vinny and Cardiff are going to be out and Vince the lawyer is going to be back in. I would have it's said, so funny yeah. because John falls for it every fucking time. How many times has Vince trolled John to the point where John's like, fuck you, Vince. <laughs> fuck you. And then every time he brings it right back in again. Well, Vince is a good guy. He's trolling uh, you, John. He's always trolling you every time. Uh, so you know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Somehow Vince, the lawyer teaming up has made things so much worse for John. <laughs> not better. <laughs> And I look That'll forward to that. Before. Oh, That'll please. That fire before anything happens out there. There's no doubt. It's, everything he does. Bob, it's going to be like being on a plane and, and just one engine after another shutting down. <laughs> and you're just like, well, there goes engine two. We're, yeah, yep, we're really Sounds fun. like he turned on me. <laughs> we'll take a tag <laughs> team now. That Vin, Vinny will be in for a little bit. And then all of a sudden, Cardiff will do something good. And Vinny will be out. Cardiff will be in. It's and gotta be, be exhausting. It's gotta but be it's exhausting. more like having one plane, a plane taken off. It has one engine that works, and he goes, "All right, I'll get on it." <laughs> <laughs> that is, they're like, "Dude, that plane doesn't even work." Oh, don't worry, I got. I'll fix it yeah. mid-flight. Uh, yeah. Paul, are you coming to my trout fishing com uh, competition that I'm in in Rochester that week? I didn't get a, an invitation yet, but I'm, I'll make time. I, for I didn't. Buddy. Yeah. I had them making them out. They said when they were done with the posters, they'd have that done. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. We got six months, five months. Yeah. We should get so, it to you before the show. We get in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I get. Oh, wow. As Cardiff about the contract between he and John stating that Cardiff cannot appear on the Shuley now. Oh, what really? A pussy. That's why you Whoa. fucking, you know, oh, you Spanish. Oh, well, he doesn't want to end up in uh, in small potato court. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, who knows what John could do with that? Uh, God damn it. Is this true? Carl is apparently getting close to muttering Jay's identity. Oh. I might be. Yes, I, I have uh, some information. I'm waiting to get all of the information before I reveal my sources. Right. And of course, what's going on? That's why that's why he's the pod father, y'all. Mm -hmm. Don't fuck with him. He'll fucking he'll, he, he doesn't even he just sits back and puts his feet up and they all send it to him. If I'm right about this, we're all going to be smacking our foreheads going, of course, it's that person. Who else really? could it have been? Oh, yes, it's oh it's too obvious. It's almost too I want to end the show it. right now and call you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you think it's John's mom? <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, great minds think alike well mm -hmm. all right enough john updates uh we talked a little bit about the did you watch any of the rows i did i watched it all yeah so now ray i guess won. uh wh what was your opinion of who you think won and and chad just is the roast so bad at, chad is so bad at roasting and i've known that for a long time obviously there's the kevin brennan roast that video is uh legendary chad just failing miserably but even when chad was on my show and my show is a roast style show he doesn't mm -hmm. know how to be funny he's just angry and so he thinks the c word is a punchline so as long as he oh. just says the mm -hmm. c word at the end of the joke it's like oh wow this guy is edgy watch out for this guy and Hello most of his jokes are the same joke his jokes okay. about Ray were like, Ray, you look like a little kid. Ray, you look like a little kid who did this thing. Ray, you look like you dress like a little kid who does a thing like a little kid does. Ray, you're a kid. Right. Like, okay, we get it. That's, you can't keep using right. that joke. Different words. And the worst thing you can do in a roast is to appear angry. Ah, uh, right. yes. Yeah. It doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. The what the so I judged a bunch of roast battles in New York, but I did roast battle one time, and it was before I judged it. So I I done the stern row so i assume i'm just gonna write roast jokes but there's a different cadence and a different rhythm to a roast battle where you're one-on-one -on -one, which unbeknownst to me i'd never done it before i go up first round the other comic wins uh jay nog is uh the comic buddy of mine second round uh i i lost again and they and and then at one point I was so angry I was arguing with the judges <laughs> and I'm like I'm God. like this is not good I can't be angry at a roast battle <laughs> but but I, I I heard you know people were saying that uh, Ray was doing jokes about Chad's 
you know, dead brother and stuff. And people were like, that's crossing the line. Mm -hmm. I got to say that's roast battle. If you've ever yeah. seen a roast battle mm -hmm. as a judge, I would sit there and I would scratch my head and go, why are you sharing this personal that's information not Ray. with each that's other? That's not Ray. I guarantee he didn't. That's well, not it's, Ray. It's controversial, Bob, because it turns out two of the jokes were written by other people. I believe it was Beloved Chatter and yeah. another just listener. Like and fan, uh, fan Teamster show. Tim. Teamster Tim, yep. So yes. the And those were a couple of the funniest jokes, the mug joke and, and another one. Mm -hmm. But then... And I know you guys are on the Alice with Patrick Melton, but I was checking out his show. No. He did some research, I mean, a deep dive research into this and yeah. found two of the jokes that Ray did were on another roast that was on YouTube with a million views from 2016 yes. from the stand yeah. or something. So wow. uh, it was like Ray was stealing jokes. So it's uh, controversial. Wow. So it went from pick up a pen to pick up somebody's joke, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Although uh, I will when, tell you, Bob, when you guys were doing the roast on Howard Stern, when he went over to yeah. Sirius at first, those were the best episodes of Howard Stern ever. And I, I love yeah. the fact that they did the roast battle. That's why everyone was tuning in. It's, it's interesting. It's compelling. We should bring back that the, the roasts that you guys used to do on exactly. Howard Stern. They were fantastic. We've been talking about it for a while. and But Bob uh, can't yeah. be in the same room with you. He doesn't know what's going to happen. He's not threatening. <laughs> yeah. He just says, <laughs> right. probably not a good idea. And the roast saying. battle thing was first done on Kid Chris in 2002. Let's see if you got anything before that one-on-one. -on -one. No shit. Yeah, who knows? Hmm. I don't know. I know I know. the whole thing was at the, the comedy store in L.A. Uh, Earl Earl was there from the beginning and was hmm. a part of Roast Battle before it got to TV and, and went mainstream and, uh, you know, all that stuff. So, uh, but yeah, listen, the, the Stern roasts were crazy because everything you saw roast-wise at that point was on Comedy Central. It was filmed. It was edited. It was four hours long. They they cut out all the fat. They cut out people bombing. There, it was just without a net, mm -hmm. live. If you if you killed, you were a god. If you died, it was the worst room to bomb in yeah. on earth. Was that radio show and those roasts? So yeah, it was crazy, crazy scary. Not, I had just gotten there, so half the people are on the dais. I was just watching them on Comedy Central, you know, <laughs> six months before. Roasted Trump, roasted everyone. I'm just like, holy shit. Now they're sitting there calling me Dave Attell with AIDS. I mean, what an honor. <laughs> <laughs> what an honor. Loved it. Uh, so, Carl, before we get to the anti Karen, we got we to gotta hit these. We're back already in Super Chats and Gifted. If you're not a member, uh, you can join like Theo Mantis over here became a member. Thank you, Theo. Oh, uh, look tomorrow, at that. On the BS show. I forgot. <laughs> what uh, happened? I on the BS show tomorrow, I'm doing a roast of the mic. We need uh, a prize of two thousand dollars. So if you people can send that in, that would be nice. That'd be great. Oh, do you want to do a battle uh, bomb? <laughs> oh, roast battle. Are you gonna write for me? <laughs> <laughs> Mike's really good. <laughs> Bob can't even roast a chicken. He's what's he gonna do? <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? I over roasted, they say. They say I over roasted. <laughs> Stop it. I'm making it tonight. I made two pieces. Suck my dick. Dog. <laughs> hey, if if let's let's make a promise, guys. If John cancels, which I think he will, yeah. if he backs out like the bitch he is, mm -hmm. then let's just go do a roast of John. We'll get a guy. We'll get the guy that was supposed to be Carl to be yep. John. And we'll <laughs> roast him. We were thinking that poor guy is like going to be picked up, and he's going to be doing all these jokes about him, and the guy's going to be like, "I just came here for a show, and now I'm fucking <laughs> getting ripped apart." What if he just ends up with like a black guy? Like you can't even get the right guy. The last minute, like his Craigslist bookings. Well, know? it's almost brilliant because Carl's would be there, and so you're roasting a guy <laughs> who's in the audience, and you have somebody standing in for him. That is well, pretty fucking so funny. So I'm over at my folks' house this past weekend for my mom's <laughs> birthday, and my brother goes, "Carl, if you can think of a funny angle, I'll sit in and be your lookalike oh. at the show." And I go, "I can't think of a funny angle, Grant. Don't do that." Please do not do that. It's not going to be good. Let us let us put our heads together. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. so, uh, I love that idea. Yeah. It's But if, gotta... if he does cancel, I think it should be a big thing Saturday and Sunday. It's got to be, you know what I mean? Because, you know, who wants to go out for one day, you know? No, I, I hear mean, you. I mean, look, there's also an option of moving that date with all those ticket holders to a later date where we can we can have 
more time to plan something big and, yeah, and do it right. The thing that I've been saying, and I'm not against doing stuff. I know subreddit surfing live March 9th. I'm going to be a part of that. I'm not against doing something, but I really don't want to bring people back to Rochester in the winter again. Like I agree. Rochester is a really nice place from about April 15th through October 15th. And we're getting everybody here in February and March. Let's not do that. <laughs> I like that idea. Yes. Yeah. I like that. I mean, okay. Plus we got lucky. Many. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got lucky by the way. I mean, nobody should have come to that fucking show at that time of the year with those oh, temperatures. No, there was snow. It was freezing. It was unbelievable. Oh, had the smoke it outside. Was... It was like, are you kidding me? There was yeah, no that's... bigger bitch than Anthony Cumia. He was screaming, walking to my car from uh, the restaurant because it's zero degrees <laughs> yeah. out. But Jesus Christ, you're from Long Island. All right. Don't act oh, like you've never yeah. had cold weather before. No that's one had true. the biggest coat on like Anthony, too. He was bundled <laughs> right. up like a, like it was his first day of school and uh, still freezing. I remember that. Uh, John Spittle gifting a membership. Yeah. Thank you, John. Yeah. If you would like to receive a gifted membership, mm -hmm. uh, you, you first thing you got to do in the description down below is a link will take you to your settings. Turn on accept gifted memberships and good luck. Otherwise, buy that shit like everybody else. It's worth it. Patreon, mm -hmm. we take everything we do here, flip it to audio. So if you can't watch, you're on the go a lot. That's where you want to go. You get all the behind the scenes shit, all, all the archives, everything. Uh, John Spittle with another one. Thank you, Set John. my dick. Uh, let's go, Fred Garvin, Set male prostitute, dick. gifted one. Thank you. Spittle Set again. Suck my dick. Spittle again. Suck my dick. Theo Mantis, gifted Set one. Suck my dick. How about Tiff? You want Tiff? You got Set Tiff. Suck my dick. Oh, there's, one. there's Tiff. She is fake. She's a bot. <laughs> uh, Uncle Jack, I'm loving that intro. Thank Mike. Uh, I already <laughs> hit like you, effing coward. Thank you, Wendy's cat. Uh, my dad tried. My dad uh, tired and talked to garbage men, and they loved him. I think you're right. Retired uh, was it dad uh, retired. Uh, and sorry, I'm a little retired when I'm reading. Sometimes <laughs> uh, watching Devito's Zumok roast was fun as as fun as hemorrhoid <laughs> removal surgery. <laughs> Auntie Karen deserves both of those Swedes. Keep rocking, Shuli, Mike Levy, Carl. Thank you, Ronnie Mond uh, Jr. Uh, it's a complete work to sell tickets <laughs> briskly. <laughs> 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 Larry John always falls for the BS lawyer sales pitch. Always. Always. Uh, I love Lucy and Merry Christmas to Ava Gardner. Figure it out. Lucy. Lucy Ball. Hold on. And Merry Christmas to Ava Gardner. Nerd, you got anything on that? He doesn't even know who Lucy is. I've, I'm 42 years old. I've never heard of any of those people. Fuck like me. Uh, 999. Donation That's from because my Because nobody niece. asked you. <laughs> <laughs> donation from my niece Sato me for a for a brilliant oh. mic intro song yes thank you agreed. thank you fuck uh <laughs> cardiff taste cardiff lasted less time than straightening out trash pickup in huntsville <laughs> alabama <laughs> don't need to bring that up again is that the Johnson? tom gully from the tom gully show wow that's amazing fantastic. you're watching right now it's awesome fantastic what a show that guy puts on i, yep. I can't recommend it enough get over there and subscribe uh, how much for Carl to say who MJ is with a disclaimer? $100? Hmm. Hmm. Well, the time will come. Have patience. Yeah, yeah. Listen, why run down and fuck one when we can walk down and fuck them all? Am I right, everybody? <laughs> Let's go. Gift and dead. Suck my dick. Bad boy. Uh, 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 I swallow come. Thank me. What is this? Swan El Tardemenda Amanda? I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know what that was. Afternoon, Shuli, Bob, and Carl. F what whiny? F that whiny cunt, KB. Thank you, Mason. Mason, Port yeah, Mason Port Port. yeah. Vince is MJ. Mm, I don't think so. Uh, that would be. That's not too far off. I mean, listen, it's not. It's not the long shot in the sports book. I'll say that. Yeah, Vince is kind of a genius at this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are, there are odds on that one. That's true. It's not a right. write-in candidate right there. <laughs> right. I'd say five to one. Five to one. Is yeah. Mm. Interesting. Well, let's uh, uh, on on the BS show tomorrow. Let's, let's do a rundown of people, yes. possible people, and we'll do uh we'll do we'll a, do odds. Yeah, I like it. Fucking Ray Mencia. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, Erica Ann <laughs> gifted one. Suck, Thank suck you, my Erica. Dick. Uh, Peter gifted one. Suck Thank you, my Peter. Dick. What happened to it? There you go. And Carl, is Lucy single and does she really have a tight box? 
Uh, yes and no, Reels. You figure it out. <laughs> so she's single? <laughs> she's single, but Carl claims she does not have a tight box. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, upper followed by a downer, my friends. Uh, how many confessions in your taxi today? Go Bills. Fuck you for making Go fun Bills. of my hat. Uh, best way to spend my birthday with TSN and Carl. Yeah. <laughs> Sheena, missed last week's uh, Auntie Karen show, so I couldn't miss today. Goddamn right. We'll throw you out of here. That day, it was colder in NYC than Rochester. Mm. I don't think it so. Was. It, was a cold. No, it was cold. No, no. It, it, we was, it was the same. It, it was, was we were negative. below. Yeah. Yeah, we were right. negative temperatures. Yeah. Um, let's go. Can Oh, hold on right there. Can Investigator Carl check into KB Finances? Hmm. Are you saying for the roast itself? Because it sounds like Melton's all over that shit. Oh, yeah. Melton's good. Um, not quite known sports became a YouTube member. Thank Behind you. Behind my paywall. Is that the world famous uh, NQKS? Yes. Can, can I say this about the finances and people looking into finances? And yeah. All yeah. this stuff. Like, like, we fuck with John because he owes Alex Stein 100 bucks. So it's fun to fuck with John. And be like, why aren't you paying Alex Stein? But, and I've said this before, none of this is real money. We're not no. talking. This isn't show business money. We're talking about. Oh, no. he got five hundred. He's supposed to get seven hundred. Wow, who gives a shit? <laughs> What's the difference to watch? One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's not. We're not even uh, a, a pimple on the ass of people making real money in this. I world. guess. But yeah, my, yeah, my point is for all the things to goof on Kevin Brennan about what he pays people and how much money he makes. I don't give a fuck about those things. The only reason I care about it is just because Bob got stiffed. That's the only reason right. I give a shit about it. And, that's and he lies about that. He, yes. he always and he talks lies. about how he pays people. Right. He does. Uh, love watching this dream team and Mike Morse. Hashtag ween. Thank you. Uh, I just want to thank you guys, Carl included, for brightening up my days. John Branson. Skull to you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. I'm old and blind. Tipped and talked. <laughs> Boston Red Sox, thank you. Uh, it was a brisk 74 degrees in Orlando during DabbleCon in Rochester. <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ten minutes later. Uh, uh, <clears throat> and Dabbleverse power couple back at it. Yes. All right. We are all caught up. Let's get into this package. We are ready to rock. It's time for the for one second. Who who would be? We have to pick who should go collect and have the money. Who should I send to him to collect? Should I send homeless people? Mm -hmm. Should I send definitely not homeless people? What about the black Israelites? What if we give them a percentage? <laughs> They're of fun. It? <laughs> yeah. They're I'll fun. Give, I'll give them the whole thing. I'll give them and the that, whole right. fucking thing. Yeah, They'll get it. Them. They'll get it. I'll tell you that. They ain't coming back empty handed. <laughs> They're not going to give it to you, but they'll get it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, they can have it. <laughs> like, like Bob goes, I'll give it to them. No, they're not going <laughs> to give it to you. Yeah. So they'll take it, but it's worth it. For the story, it's worth it. You know? Oh, yeah. Uh, I just got home from work. Has this really been on for three hours? <laughs> no. 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 But, man, sounds like he had a blast at work. All right. <laughs> Brutal to send Gary Goldman. <laughs> Bobby Kelly, yeah. uh, Jimmy Martinez. Yeah, oh, the Jimmy list goes Martinez on. Jimmy Martinez would be fucking great. Uh, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy. All right, How about Gino Bisconte? Hmm. Oh, there you go. Like that one. How about the Jewish Defense League? I let them knock it on his door. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the song we're doing it mm -hmm. all right uh i know you guys all panicked i'm gonna try not to be arrogant today but okay. open chat at least till i get a gifted membership i don't know what that means it means you're being a pussy and you're doing subscriber or member only chat and he doesn't have a membership so he would like to participate but you don't want to see people writing bad things about it. I believe is what he's saying. Anyway, so I'm at this thing. I'm looking at Twitter. Opie goes live on Twitter. I guess uh, 
you know, late night stream or whatever. It wasn't even that late. It was probably like nine o'clock. He had eight people watching and including me, it was probably nine. <laughs> probably. Yeah. So I was like, I, I, spending your time in the right way, you know? <laughs> Oh my God, he's in everybody else's shit. It's like fuck. Hang out. Oh, hold on a second. No, no. Watching Opie is always a good use of your time, Bob. I have to tell you, <laughs> <laughs> Opie is fascinating. For you, for yeah. you. Bob once yeah, told me. me he was on the. Bob once told me he was on the phone with Jake Hudson for over two hours. So <laughs> I was going to a gig. We were talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, I'm just saying, you're not did in a position to lecture anybody. Did Jake yeah. Hudson get his ten thousand steps in during that phone conversation? <laughs> yeah. That guy's got to be ripped. He's got to have the legs of a thoroughbred, man. Yeah. I, I can't. So, Bob, actually, I cut it out, but believe it or not, he did say that he was somewhere with his wife, some event for her work that they had to get so dressed up for. And then he's saying that that's what he was doing is watching Opie Even on Twitter. People had to learn English. Well, so he's at an event with his wife and he's just watching Opie at the event. That's yep. Not... Ah, okay. Well, at least he's consistent. Yeah. I, I just can't like like what like why even bring them with you just go oh you had to work or something just go by yourself nine people because it was eight and then when I jumped on it was nine wow that's, that's how numbers so, work yeah so eight plus one no I get it <laughs> I understood yeah. what were you gonna ask uh, Carl nothing no I'm this is oh, okay. I've not that's seen this. My point is, these people are losers. It's like, <laughs> o Opie used to be a big deal, and now he's not. So now he's doing this stupid fucking thing. You know, I'm just, uh, I'm, I am like, I don't have an axe to grind with Opie other than the fact that he won't do my show because he thinks he's winning. Uh, is he watching to... Opie now? <laughs> he won. He won. He, he doesn't, he's not winning now. He won. Well, the fact that he doesn't have to do your show <laughs> means that he's winning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ski mask, ski mask has to do your show, right? <laughs> you know, Opie doesn't. That's just a fact. I mean, yesterday. Well, I, I don't know about that because here's the thing about Opie. I don't know if you guys realize this. The reason why he doesn't do it is because he's scared. He knows he has no talent and he knows that he'll get picked on and made fun of. Because Opie, if anyone needs to promote their show and what they're doing, Opie is the guy. He has no viewership. Wow. No, he didn't really let me finish. Wanted, was, here's the thing about Opie. If, if he's a winner and he won, he wouldn't be live streaming for two dozen people every morning. I'm just saying, just throw that out there. Yeah, no, I was gonna say that. He just didn't let me finish, but thank oh, you. Right. That's a good point. <laughs> okay, oh, fair enough. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're 100 percent right. Second podcast that I just started up. It's called Comedy Quick Hits with Opie. Oh my God! How long of his show did he play? You're you're at eight times speed. <laughs> it's like three minutes that he was sitting there holding his phone up to his stupid headset. <laughs> Okay. Bunch of comedians trying to be the funniest guy in the room. You mean your Opie and Anthony show for, for 20 years? That was the Opie and Anthony show for 20 years. But now he's like, hey, we're, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the best of the funniest clips and I'm going to play them. How are we supposed to find this? We have to go to where? We have to, while we're stuck in traffic, we have to go to our phone. While we're stuck in traffic, he's at an event for his wife and he's watching this. Like, <laughs> you act like it's it's putting you out finding up. And just because you're old and don't know how to fucking operate shit doesn't mean yeah, everybody can, else can't find it. You can go dance with your boyfriend. I'm going to watch Opie. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Your Mind if I husband. don't cut in? <laughs> Allegedly. Go to Opie. Allegedly. Opie radio, but it's not Opie radio. It's a different thing. So maybe open radio, you got to do comedy quick hits. So it's like, what? Opie, Opie, mm -hmm. Opie. <laughs> but it's like, nobody's nobody's looking for comedy. I, there's All there is is comedy. There's comedy out the ass. So Opie thinks he has this, like this What do you want Opie to world? do? He's on a documentary. What's he gonna, <laughs> what else is he going to put out there? 
He's Jane Goodall. He's coming back with footage right. with, with yes. gorillas uh, cleaning them and shit. What the fuck? What do you See, want? now I get now I get it. Now I know why uh, Kevin had that roast yesterday because he thought there was too much funny already on the internet. Yes. Oh, he yeah. goes, let's bring it down. Yeah. Like, can we dim the lights a little bit? So funny. <laughs> Like Al Capone's vault, where it's like, I have all the best comedy and I'm going to release it. And then I just go like, holy shit, these people are fucking, they're all fucking, they're, they're all, wow. Wow. We're all wow, guys. Yeah, Let's remember good. that. You good heard luck, it. Good luck sleeping tonight with that thought in your head. <laughs> anyway, so I didn't do it. I know more people are coming in. <laughs> like Tom Gully says... KB wants Opie to find lost shipwrecks at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Listen, Opie, if eight or nine people are watching you, if you got more people watching somewhere else, just just don't put it on Twitter. It's embarrassing. Stop embarrassing yourself. First of all, nobody watches a show through Twitter that's on YouTube. Nobody clicks on those fucking things. That's why their numbers are always so low. Always. Wow, these people think they they all think that they used to be something so that, that so it's just it's just they're gonna make a comeback like Frank Sinatra. The only make a comeback is if you have like authentic talent. Like Frank Sinatra. So what's so <laughs> how old is that reference? What was that wow. comeback? So old. What are you talking so about? <laughs> What does he think he is, Jimmy Durante? Yeah. Also, I just I want to talk to uh, Legal Shield and send a cease and desist to KB because Opie's my thing. Yeah. I called it years ago. I'm there yeah. you. Yeah, fucking back off, bitch. Opie's authentic talent. I, I don't I don't understand that where he thinks you better hope he doesn't learn how to play clips or you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, right, good point. Yeah, I don't know if I have the twenty nine ninety five a month to really get Legal Shield involved. Actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> What's going to rally around whatever the fuck he used to be. And now it's like, but now he's got another one comedy quick hits. And I got, I don't even know where to find it, but, but I, I see he's moving around the house, Kevin, keep it down, keep it down. It must be a Saturday <laughs> night. You don't want to wake people up. Huh? Ski man acts like we're friends. He calls me. Uh, he texts me. It's like, send me the link last night. He's like, send me the link. Uh, I'm like, I'm not doing a show. And again, Ski Mask acts like another guy who thinks he's uh, supremely talented. Because remember, I was the first guy to cover my face. All right. All righty then. Hold on. Did Ski Mask really say that? Because that's one I of the funniest not. things ever. If he's taking credit I, for that, it's like, no, there's a potato and a demon and corn. I started all of this. <laughs> that's really funny. It's like, I, I, hope that's I really true. don't think he said that. I don't, like, I don't think uh, so either. No. He's like the Dolomite of the Dabbleverse. He's <laughs> yes. like Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor. <laughs> yeah. They all got it from me. Hey, guys, real quick, Anyways. because uh, Kevin keeps saying he doesn't know how to find Opie's show. I just put in the Google, Comedy Quick Hits Opie, and it is the first thing that comes up. <laughs> there you go. So it's not hard to find. Yeah, but how do you find Google? Who knows <laughs> right where that on. is? <laughs> so, how do you find it? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Opie, stop. Stop. Just stop. No, what, you think no gonna... keep going, LP. Don't listen to don't listen to the red man. Keep going. Yeah. It's always people who should have stopped that are telling you to stop. <laughs> you know, don't yeah. listen to him. Keep keep reaching for the stars, sunshine. You're doing great. And I, you, some magic formula. I know everybody thinks everybody <laughs> thinks they have some magic formula. We're gonna put a little bit of this little pepper, little, little cayenne pepper, some, some diced onions. A little molasses, and then we're gonna have another hit show. It's over, Hold Opie. Oh no, KB Magic Formula. Opie is throwing darts at the wall right now. He has no idea what to do. He's been trying everything <laughs> since he got fired from Westwood One, which is where he went after he got fired from Sirius. So how long this has he been trying? Think... It's been going on since uh, 2018. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. So the, the, I don't think Opie's sitting there going, "I got the magic formula this time." He's just <laughs> chucking everything at the wall, and hoping something sticks. Wow. Like like Levy doing the fucking uh Levy starting Levy verse starts today, the Bobby verse. Levy verse has always been here. You just mm -hmm. weren't aware of it, Kevin. <laughs> oh, hey. hey, the Bobby verse starts today. He's gonna do he's bringing back out of the coffin. 
if, if, if Adam Carver was so great, why'd you ever stop doing it, Bobby? And he, then he's going to do Levy Land. He's going to do, uh, I'm looking at my notes, out of the coffin. <laughs> it matters to you. I'm in your head all fucking day, you fucking untalented bag of shit. You're just a whining old cunt. That's what you are. Your wife can't even deal with you anymore. That's Look at him. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> it, imagine having to go to the store to get milk and coming home looking like that. Holy <laughs> shit. Leaving. Imagine looking at your wife and going, I'm going to run to the store with that fucking helmet on your head. I'm going to hold on. Hold on <laughs> you need anything? I'll be right back. Uh, lock the door. I'm not here to protect you while while I'm gone. So lock the door. And hey, I'll Kevin, be here's, a, here's another I'd thing. I'd rather wear that than to have to, than to have to strap a chin strap under me for a fucking helmet. <laughs> And also, I have backers, not people that are going to throw in money for a roast. I have backers, Kevin. And right now, I'm up what you're doing already. So, ha. Huh. Hmm. And I only have a thousand people. Yeah. Uh, for the record, I'm backing away and I'm letting him do. I'm not a backer. I'm backing away. And Bob is okay. succeeding and growing and, and he's doing it. Him and Hack Ride. Hack Ride's a talented fucking We're dude. We're doing it. Yeah. Puts a lot of effort and energy into shit. But what's funny is he's bitching. You know, I wake up in the morning. I start retweeting stuff for a BS show. And I see that he was up around 1230 last night after midnight tweeting about me, hmm. uh, not tagging me. And he unfollowed me. The, and the well, phone got then, blocked. John, John's yeah, I mean, been. Go ahead. I was just going to say, you might as well block because it's just as much of a bitch move to unfollow another dude than it is. That he gives a fuck. <laughs> I still follow him. I don't, I don't give a fuck enough to even unfollow him. You know what I mean? But yeah. he's bitching about you in the afternoons, me at night. He's got notes on the Shuli Network. Fantastic. He's watching okay. OB. He's having a time of his life. <laughs> Kidding me? <laughs> now, Frog, you said Carl is involved in this episode? Yeah, so uh, this appears to have been from the day after last point dabble point when you guys had Joey C on. So he goes okay. off on he goes off on y'all in a second. This might be true too. We're investigating. No backers at all. The leave the liver worse network is a Ponzi scheme for the JDL. <laughs> Julie's Jewish. He can't help it, and I don't mean that as a joke. <laughs> Tonight, Levy land on Tuesday, and then somebody said, "Are you going to do every show with a?" What's that hack ride? Bob goes, No, just one. He goes, This I'm mm. gonna do a bunch of stuff. When? When, Bobby? When? When? What does it so, matter? So He's really what trying to start in John. Say? Oh my god, he it, totally is. You know, the those the sad thing is <laughs> the, the last finger in your wife's cunt wasn't yours. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. But he is, but he is turning into him. Look, you know how John doesn't care. I don't, I don't care. care. See, <laughs> you have similarities and across the board. Cover was hit. Why would he stop doing it? If it's a hit, you never stop. You, you <laughs> would never stop because he'd be making he'd be throwing money or flushing money down the toilet. No, no, nobody flushes money down the toilet, Kevin. Uh, that's a stupid thing, you know. Especially if you're on the fucking. Uh, whatever floor of an apartment building, the people downstairs may not be happy that you're throwing money into a toilet. Well, allegedly, I've heard he's had to plunge a couple toilets that somebody has flushed money down in that building. Uh, <laughs> routine call, but I already have to take care of that. Literally burning money. Also, when I don't do a show on Saturday or anytime, I'll never tweet it. Because all I'm doing is giving a heads up to people who are trying to my my professional enemies. Oh. That you created that he created right. every one of them because he has nothing to talk about. He, this is his game plan. Everything's gonna go bad, so he has someone to talk but, about. But he's the one taking notes on our schedule, our times. Mm -hmm. We aren't we're we're not we do one show a week on him. That's it. Everything mm -hmm. else is everything else. So he, but he, in his mind, we're meeting about him. We got a whole fucking board up about how we're going to take him down. We don't give a fuck. We don't care. We're here. No, 
deal with it. That's actually a really good point, though, Bob, because I enjoyed Kevin Brennan. I've been on a show a few times. I wanted to come back and do his show some more. And then he had to be a, a meanie bojini about it. So mm-hmm. now we're doing this. Like He, he kind of uh, created all of this, right? Well, he wanted to basically have you on, and then he'll turn on you, and then he has six months at least. Right. That's right. Of, of content of bashing the guy he just turned on. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So. Ray and Ray or Chad will get turned on again and it'll continue. And, but you know, look, but I, I'm the, I'm the fool for talking to Chad, but he's the one that gives him money and brought him back. I can't have, you know what I mean? It makes no, everything he says is the opposite. Yeah. He lost, anything. he lost a lot of credibility. We started bringing Chad back on the show again. I would agree with you on that. Yeah. I hope he just takes all the money he can. Uh, yeah. Or take that money, Chad. Fucking earn yeah. that shit. My question is, why why do you think he asked Chad back on? He's running out of options. Mm-hmm. How many guys yeah, can he yeah. can he get out of there? Well, and also I think in his mind, he's so focused on us and what we're doing that he's booking Chad. Like he doesn't, here's my opinion. He doesn't want Chad on that show. He doesn't want to pay Chad money, but he thinks having Chad on will give him a shot. At getting better viewers and better super chats in the afternoon mm-hmm. at the same time yeah, yeah. We're on. So. absolutely it's uh, it was always for a, a super chat of the shit on the guests and that's how the money would come in that was the game plan right and it's a good right. way to keep prize money well yeah, yeah the guests get shit on, shit on for almost three hours and then they take a a, a flat rate and kevin keeps the bulk yeah. it's fucking brilliant yeah. and i'm the shuli Carl, now Carl, Carl, you're fucking with my money. When you go up on against me on Friday at four o'clock with Joey C, they did a show with Joey C, and it was uh, people, you? Said, people said Carl, it was the best Joey C appear, appearance mm-hmm. they've ever seen. He, yeah, he gave no. so many fans that day. He was so believe it or not, he was so normal on that show yeah. for the most part uh, compared to well, what Joey C seen. normal. Yeah. But he had Joey C on his show a few times. There's yeah, no doubt about it. I was there. Of course, he would have Joey C on tomorrow if if it if it could get him 500 views. Well, this is also I don't understand this rationale that he's going he's coming up with here because this reminds me of and Bob, you'll remember this when we did DabbleCon back in February. I can't believe oh. it was earlier this year. Yeah. And Chad Zumach was mad at you. It wasn't about. Chad, it was about stuttering John Melendez. And here you have Kevin on here. We're talking about John Melendez with Joey C. And you have Kevin going, and you're fucking with my money. You're fucking with me. This has nothing to do with you. You don't own a time slot during the day. You don't own a day of the week or a time of day. We weren't even talking about you, dummy. 100%. Kevin has less than 700 views. Well, you know, this shit happens. What are you going to do? Well, let's get back to how much we all suck. Their Friday, four o'clock, their roundup show, four o'clock Friday. It was Carl, Shitwire, that producer, and Joey. See, just the four of them. It what a lineup. They're going to take me down. Joey, C. We were trying to take you down. It had nothing to do with you. And now you're calling Julia Shitwire? Yeah. He, well, he really is stuttering, Chad. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Can't help it. It's, it's, we, it's crazy that this dabble verse has two people so similar yep. that when mm-hmm. you meet John, you go, he's one of a kind. There's nobody that's this dumb. That's this out of it. And then she walked in. The room. <laughs> Hello. Well, and part of the problem here is that since John came back to the internet in June, he was spending all of his lunch periods. You remember him talking about this, watching misery loves company. And so he is now doing his impression of Kevin where he gets really upset and excited and yells. And he does all the Kevin stuff and hack and he does the, the catchphrase and stuff like that. And I think it's kind of maybe not all on uh, Kevin's fault here that we're seeing that these two are very similar now because they're morphing into each other. Well, they're, they literally are. I mean, they are like, uh, like two drops of water. These two, they're, they're completely wrapped up in themselves. They're completely yep. in denial of so many common sense in your face things. Uh, it's fascinating. So it's, it's fascinating yeah. to watch. You look at back when, when was the last time Kevin did something? What do you mean something? 
like when John did something, it was many years ago, you know. Oh, I mean? you're talking John, about in entertainment and like, yeah, John did something uh, sooner, th you know, more, more recent than him. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, yeah, I guess for, for John, it was the Trump call. So that's the most right. recent thing he did that got any buzz outside of the dabble verse. And for Kevin, it's this stupid tweet that TMZ had the slowest news day ever <laughs> and decided right. to write an article bashing him about it. So uh, they, that's what these guys have to hold on to yeah, now. And, Don't and which Kevin got listening. zero heat on in the long run because now he's got yeah. some people again. Yeah, it did. To him, it went viral because he showed up in his trending section. But it, it, <laughs> no, you know what? You know what? The big takeaway from that was. Oh, I didn't know that Neil Brennan co-created the uh, Chappelle show. <laughs> that was the key takeaway for everyone. It was seeing, uh, it was fun seeing the news, uh, like skewed and, and, you know, in favor of bashing him. Uh, it was just nice to see Israel not getting shit in the news for a day. Yeah. You know, it was nice to see <laughs> Kevin was getting treated like Israel. <laughs> this no talent brother of uh, Neil Brennan. It was fantastic. Oh, the, the best joke I thought that Ray DeVito had, my favorite one, was that Chad looks like if they found Matthew Perry yesterday. <laughs> and I, I thought that was uh I, I don't know if he wrote that one or, or I was where gonna he came say, up with who that. wrote that one that's good know. that was a really good one though man pick up a pen <laughs> pick up uh, pick up uh, a mouse and copy and paste dude yeah, come on yeah man. why can't you do that shall we see <laughs> but but carl and and uh and the shit wire that's who, that's their guy. There's their go-to guy. Shall we see available? Your right, go-to guy. It, it, <laughs> yeah, hold on. Say time, time out. It, the last thing I should be doing is bash us for the guests we have on our show. Okay, you had Mike Buschetti on to judge a roast battle. Mike <laughs> Buschetti doesn't even know where he is. He doesn't know what no, day it thank is. You, thank you. I, I'm a, I'm a genius at the roasts. And they had Earl when Earl should be the Earl. Literally has has mm -hmm. judged hundreds uh, of roast battles. Uh, yeah, but you know. Earl also does a show with Chad. And after Chad had zero jokes, Earl goes, I don't know, it's too close to call. This is a tough one, guys. I can't figure it out. <laughs> oh, okay, if Earl's you say so. Dude. Earl's a loyal soldier. I love Earl. <laughs> it's too close to call. <laughs> <laughs> too close to call, guys. I don't know. Uh, we got Joey we see. I mean, he's fucking losers. He, it's incredible. <laughs> Would have been better had you gotten a ski mask. He what? Would have been better had you gotten ski mask. Yeah, right. not, at least ski mask tweaks him. At least he, at least he does stuff to get Kevin upset and to get him to to react differently. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he doesn't like you, you can't be shitting on guests, brother. On the show, wait till he sees uh, Gonzo shitcock on our show tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> point to lose his mind. <laughs> the Gonzo shitcock is in the building. Oh, Anytime. really, Gonzo shitcock? That's you're uh, gonna get on to go uh, up against uh, me at four. Uh, the one guy who should be hiding behind a mask, Gonzo <laughs> Shitcock. <laughs> but the, shout out to the twelve hundred plus watching. Uh, feel free to hit that like button, hit subscribe, go subscribe to Carl's channel if you are not W A T P. You going on Man. with Blind Mike tonight, right? You getting out of here? That's in a right. Bit. Uh, at uh, six p.m. in about an hour. We'll be doing who are these socials? We do it every Thursday, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Eastern time. And we do a rundown of uh TikTok and Reddit and YouTube. And we have a we have a blast. That's great. Anytime we play something from Twitter or or, or you know, Reddit or so Instagram, they go, Carl, watch this. Carl <laughs> and my party watch this. Yeah, if, if there's a if there's a hot chick with Tourette's, I'm all over it. All right. I already got that. <laughs> yeah, out of my way, sailor. I'm with you. <laughs> weekday or or saturday i'm never tweeting i'm not doing the show if i don't do a show if it's 11 o'clock 11 30 12 o'clock on a saturday just assume i ain't doing the show but i'm not giving anybody heads up that i'm not doing a show because then they'll be like hey why don't we do a show can i point out he is talking about me specifically i've never once in my life been like oh in a half an hour kevin won't be doing a show that's enough time to prep for a show i'll just go right. on to do it no 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 <laughs> That's not how we do things around here. Notice that we actually have a package that was put together by the producers. We don't just go to our phone and go, I listened to this thing today. Listen to this. Check this out. There's a lot yeah. more work that goes into this. He, I mean, it's one of the most annoying things about doing his show is the amount of work as a guest that you have to do to participate in this bullshit. And I've been boycotting it from day one. 
But uh, one thing I can tell you is this dude is not on the fly. Let's do a show. <laughs> yeah. He is as prepared as anybody in the Dalverse, the most prepared, the most technically savvy show mm -hmm. out there. They break down every angle of shit. And so that's why. So as much as his fantasy world, we're all sitting there going, is he on? And we slide down the fire pole. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Work that way. Dude. Sorry. <laughs> Because we, we're not having any success going up against Brennan at 4 o'clock. What? Brennan's numbers keeps going up. <sighs> what numbers is he looking at? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, make-believe. And and now we got Joey C on Friday. Joey C Friday. Is that what it's going to be? It's going to be called Joey C Friday. Joey C's the – Joey C, like, there's a lot of spectacular losers in this world. Joey C, I mean, look at Stuttering John. Stuttering John and Joey C, they used to be palsies, and Joey C was like, yeah, I can do better. I can do better than Stuttering John. And he can. Both have been on MLC. Both of those guys have been on MLC yeah. multiple times. What is he talking about? Both of them have been on at the same time. He's booked <laughs> yeah. them both on the same show. And not for nothing, KB, but uh, as much of a loser as you think Joey is, at least he can drive to you and and ask you to say that to his face. You have you you got to fly with a bicycle to Florida. He can drive to New York. He's got a car. I mean, these fucking these these fucking Stern guys who used to be on Stern, they're all losers. <laughs> Shuli had a she, you know, one thing Shuli's won't take from other Shuli's is being poor. They don't Shuli's don't like other Shuli's. Shuli was so embarrassed. Shuli was so broke. He had to move to Alabama. That was the first place. Right, because that's that's what you do when you're broke. You pack up your entire family, all your possessions, and you move across out of the state right. into Alabama. That's what poor people do all the time. You buy Especially if you're a Jew, you go to Alabama. Especially if you're yeah. a Jew, right. Yeah. <laughs> that was so poor. Place he could afford to live. He had to fly, what is that, a thousand miles? Away from New York. That's he probably place. knows the miles. He, I bet you no. he looked it up. This guy knows the square footage of my place. It, that's what's driving him crazy is he knows what a beautiful fucking home I got compared to the, the fucking shoebox he lives in. Well, he's also, paid. he's sitting in a room that's two rooms because of the divider that he put up. <laughs> <laughs> and I got news for you. He's probably... Five hundred to eight hundred dollars off from what I pay for a mortgage for this fucking house than what he's paying for rent. For rent, you don't even yeah, own but, it. it but can you ride your bicycle to a store and get milk though, Shuli? Are you close <laughs> enough? Exactly. No, I can't. Gling, 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 gling. <laughs> Kevin. Gling, yeah. gling. He wishes he could afford. I can't. But Roy is right. <laughs> Hold on. Where where it go? Where Roy says he can't. He can't even afford shutters. <laughs> I can afford them. I just couldn't put them on. Where to live? That's embarrassing for a Shuli. They usually do. They're usually good with money. Shuli was there 15 years. He didn't have enough money. He had to go to Alabama to buy a house. I mean, he's fucking loser. Stuttering. You don't even have a car. You can't even buy a car, dude. You don't even have that much money. <laughs> he, finally mom. One. Well, he finally bought This guy one. is. He's Mr. Show Business. He's got all this money. He was watching Opie on his phone at his wife's work event. <laughs> Let's put that sink in for a second. Yeah. Uh, not to mention, we have photographic evidence. The paparazzi caught you with milk on your handlebars. <laughs> <laughs> you're 60. You have milk on your handlebars. And you're 2% more of a bitch than you think you are like the milk <laughs> <laughs> you're slim bitch bitch what am I house <laughs> John's like well she had good credit why why because you don't have any money John that's why you're broke your mom has better credit than you how long was she on the Howard Stern show you fucking losers See, and this, now this they is got where I like KB <laughs> I'm sorry there are, times, <laughs> there are times when I'm like alright hey, I like this no, listen, but I, I like that in his mind, being on a radio show equals excellent credit. Obviously. Well, <laughs> however, though, I will say this. Stuttering John didn't get paid well by the Howard Stern Show, but there's a reason for that. It got his name out there. 
So right. Stuttering John put together comedy shows. He got to do this boxing match for hundred thousand dollars. Like he had all these opportunities yeah. to make all this money because of that. And Absolutely. he still has no credit. He still can't buy a house in his own yeah. fucking name. Well, another rumor is that that pension came out early too. One of his pensions, so he he lost money on that too. It's not a uh, rumor. You can't collect on a pension when you're 57 years old <laughs> without losing a percentage of it. That's how it works. A big percentage. A big, a big, yeah. 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 Yeah, so, yeah, there you go. We see Joey C's the go-to guy. They had four guys. What happened to Phil Elmore? They had four guys. Now Joey. You're talking about eight guys. <laughs> <laughs> Radio, the entrance to Streets of Gold. So. <laughs> did you see that uh, Vinny and Phil made up via Twitter? Did you see that? Yeah. I did not. How was that? Yeah, Vinny, Vinny put out an apology tweet. And uh, no once shit. he got once he's detoxed from John now, he's gone clear. You understand? He's he's out of <laughs> well, Scientology. And, I understand. Uh, can, I, I actually understand Vinny pretty well. Vinny looked at this and he goes, all right, there's finally a guy fatter than me. Someone hmm. that I can actually make fun of. Maybe I need to bring him in. You know, you got to right. bring your enemies close, obviously. You're right. You're right. You can't pass up a gift like that from the comedy gods. When Vinny was so I confident that bridge. he weighed less than phil that had me rolling i'm like i've never seen Vinny this confident before. <laughs> that was the funniest part is in the middle of this knockdown drag out fight we now just in the middle of it go so what's your weight man what do you weigh who's, who's better yeah better before you, how much guys, you think i weigh how much do you think i weigh yeah. <laughs> phil goes well guess pick a number between one yeah. and 800 yeah, and then you go, and then you guys go uh, 325, and he goes, oh, you flatter me. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I realized I should have bet the over. God yeah. damn it. Because Vinny had me convinced. Vinny with his spelt, he's like, oh, please. He's like, I know I got it. Damn, Vinny's been working out. All right. So now Bobby's going up against. Now, because, you know, I know what Bobby's thinking. I know I've talked to Bobby enough yeah. time over the years. Bobby's like, you oh, know. not me. Yeah, you. I mean, people like Over me. Over the don't years, like Julie. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my own thing. You know, I'll still do the Shuli thing because that's Bob's thing. Is you use one platform to build up the other platform. That's what he kept saying when he was here. He's like, no, we we cross we cross promote yeah. each other. The sh yeah, we what do, he was and that's why was, you were having uh, success, hmm. right? What he's saying is when he would end the show or at some point in the show you go hey i'm on mlc later today so yeah, tune yeah. into that on mlc and we would plug you and but, i will uh, always be here because we did this as a team and we'll continue to do this as a team boom chip the shit network believe you know, me i could leave right now i could leave right now kevin don't look at don't look at the numbers don't look at the super chats i could leave right now and look Look, he's gone. <laughs> he's yeah. he's leave right now. Yeah, but now he's back. That's all. Now we have him back because we can do it that way. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, where am the, I going? Put Mike Sorry, I'm really place. high. Let's put <laughs> Mike where he belongs. Oh. I promote MLC over there. And then when I'm over here, I promote the other thing. So you cross promote. So Bobby's like, no, I'll use the I'll use the shit the shit wear fans. And then they'll come over and they'll watch the Bobby verse. And then I love when he schemes and plots as other people. Like this is this is all what's going on in your head, according to him. They watched it. You know, I got all the great shows out of the coffin. Levy Land. I mean, again, if they were great shows, if they were successful, why did you stop? Oh, I couldn't do the schedule and the pool, and then I had to go to Atlantic City. And no, I think I think a big thing he's talking about. I think he's a I babbling think, idiot. I mean, I, I would say that the fucking stress that you had to deal with, with this guy being a cunt every other day, wasn't putting you in the frame of mind to want to do these shows or really want to fucking, you know, it was but frustrating. It was so he, couldn't, he couldn't tell me why he was mad at you. Right. He couldn't tell me that. Never. Right. Well, because he doesn't have a reason. I also put my show on members only because I'm a bitch. What's up, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you can. You're entitled to. But more people will watch if, and and contribute if they can fuck with you. Just how it is. I'm not saying you have to take it. I'm just saying. 
a numbers game. Anyway, so OP, I'm done with OP. I mean, God. I think I'm out of the OP business. He's and done with you. Motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's never come on his show. He's, he's, never, never, <laughs> he's never been in your business. Yeah. He's invited him 150 times. They, goes, they had a streak over. Oh, they invited him every day for a month. <laughs> And the guy never responded to an email. And he's like, I'm, I'm done with Opie. He's not getting any more favors from me. Washing my hands of you. <laughs> On a related note, I've decided not to date Scarlett Johansson. Right, yeah. <laughs> done with her? Oh, you're done with her. Adam Hineker comes up as spam in Opie's inbox at this point. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the show He wants me to do his show. So, so my fans will come over and then watch his show. Because he knows he don't have any fans. Like, listen, you know if you have fans or not, or or people that are regularly watching your show. But it, but again, if if I if I if eight or nine people are watching your show on Twitter, you know, and again, he'll be like, I was on all the platforms. Okay, well, all the platforms, you're sucking. You're sucking on all the platforms, Opie. No offense, but again, it, 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 <laughs> no offense. No, but I'm just being a pal. I'm just talking to you. As a buddy. <laughs> it's over. It's over, just like it's over for Stuttering John and 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 Artie and fucking uh, <laughs> Levy and Shuli. You had your run. It's over. Hey, it's been fun, guys. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy Kevin Brennan. Uh, he, He's he turning clearly... into Chad Zumach right here. This is what yeah. Chad Zumach, he likes to tell everyone that it's over. You, you can't do this anymore, even though audiences are growing and people are making money. He wants to declare things are over. But he also starts off with, I'm doing it. We're doing it. We're having fun. It started off making fun of him, but now you've become Chad Zumach. Yep. It's like it's we're getting lectured by a homeless dog uh, that's walking down with his fucking pink dick out that's all scraped up from hitting the ground. <laughs> You're saying, a, you're saying a dog dick is lecturing us? Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, I'm saying a homeless dog, and his dick is just like on the cement, and it's getting chopped up, and it's like this is what this is. <laughs> There's got to be a crazy homeless situation by you. Uh, that's all I know. For, no, I can just imagine. Oh, okay. But now you got Joey C in your back pocket, so I guess we should all be fucking fearing. We should all be a. We should all be a feared. Well, but but just a few minutes ago, he announced that he's never going to let anybody know when he's going on in fear of us going on at the same time as him. He's John. He's completely yeah. morphed into John. But John has a show. He kind of puts together a show a little bit, you know. And Opie's been doing it since he was 18. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Brings in the numbers. He brings in the super chats. He brings in the bitches. That's still you. the same super chat on the screen. I know <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> Two bucks. He's, in, he's at the fucking uh, fight in Tampa. I mean, fucking um, Alex Stein's taking pictures with him. I was like, what? So what? He's taking pictures with fucking. Why are you pay, taking pictures with this clown? Open chat at least till I get a gift of membership. I don't. Uh, the shit. The chat is not open. Well, it shouldn't have been open. <laughs> it shouldn't have been open. That's everybody's what a weird thing out. to care about. Can I just point this out? Yeah. This is a this is a weird thing, and I don't understand why anybody thinks like this. We were talking about the other day, Southern John telling people who they can be friends with. That was a big thing yeah. with uh, Vinny Paulino. He kept telling him, well, "I don't know why you're friends with Carl. You right. shouldn't be friends with them." And now Kevin Brennan talking about how, why would Alex Stein take a photo with Joey C. What the fuck business is it of yours? Why would you possibly yeah. care about that? When I see a photo of two people on the internet, the last thing I'm thinking is, they're talking to each other? I must put this to an end. I mean... <laughs> Who cares? This is why it's anti-Karen right here, just in case people are wondering. Yeah, and and this has been his MO for... Look, the thing... I will, I will go to my grave believing this, but the thing that upset him the most about me wasn't that Calta gave out his number when I was on the show. It was when I spent the night at Bob's house that that's right pissed him right. off more than anything else. I'm hey, a, remember we I stayed at your house and we slept in a bed together. Also, on an unrelated note, I just want to get this out before I leave. Uh, Shuli, I don't think you should be friends with Vince the Warrior anymore. That guy's a dick. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, moving on, onward and upward. Yeah. It's uh, it was good knowing you. See ya. Um, 
All right, let's see what Talboy has to say. We're going to get you canceled. Chili's going to go up against me at 4 o'clock, and he's going to take me down. And, and Bob's crush like, hey. your numbers. Mm-hmm. And Bob, why, why wasn't Bob on the Friday show? They was trying to get the everything ready for the for the Bobby verse starting on Sunday. What Bob, is he Bob, talking Bob about? Be on, I mean, Bob, you can. Bob knows he's got an open door on that show whenever he wants. Yeah, Bobby's it's like, nice to see other people on it. It really is. Yeah, that's the other thing we want to give other people a shot. Yeah, hit hit me up, DM me if you want to do a point dabble point. You know, but not just anybody. Like you gotta. You got to have some uh, knowledge of John, yeah. maybe maybe somebody from the Dabbleverse that other people may know, you know, mm-hmm. so so hit us up. As of now, we got uh, uh, <laughs> Gonzo, V Gonzo Shitcock, which I'm excited about. I've known Gonzo for years, and he has a lot of thoughts on John, knows John personally, so it'll be good. 643. That's cute. You know, I don't want to. You'll get there, buddy. I do every uh, super chats end. His show ends. That's when it ends. Okay, it's all a money grab. It's, yeah, it's all it's, it's all, all it it's all super chat. That's it. You know, there's no show. There's no bits. There's no uh, production of anything. That's it. Uh, stuttering John show because you know, like again, he's complaining to Melton. Bob's complaining to Melton that he's sick of doing the stuttering John show. So he's like, I don't, I don't want to be on every show. Sorry. I've been, I don't no, be yeah. what, what is, he's insane. I mean, you know what I mean? What does, the Bob, Sutter and John show is fun. It's a lot of fun. It is and, a lot of fun. It's not dying this at out? all. And it's easy. <laughs> it's no it's heavy lifting easy. involved. Yeah. All we got to do is hit record and then hit play when it's done yeah. recording. Yeah. I'm my own man now. I'll still use the Shuli network to plug my other, my new network. Cause as you do, you cross promote and yeah. And with the same thousand he's, fans, well, he's learning. Can you tell him mm-hmm. about uh, how to do stuff, man? I mean, he, he's learning stuff. Well, I also, you know, what I like about KB is that he'll realize that he was wrong and he'll come back and apologize. I was saying all this stuff about Bob Levy, and it turns out I was wrong about that. He wasn't going to quit Uncle Rico. He wasn't upset with the Shuli Network. I, don't, I got bad information, and I spouted it out. My bad. It won't happen again. I'm looking forward to that episode. I, yeah, that'd be, let me know when that airs. I'll be fucking <laughs> ready to die. I'll be 110. No, but you're uh, right, though, Bob, because, again, this is Kevin turning into Chad Zumach. <laughs> Chad didn't understand when I was going on MLC, and he's going, you guys are just using each other right now. It's like, yes, Chad, <laughs> this is what it is. I go out and who are these podcasts. I let people know I'm going to go on MLC. They come over and watch. Like, how do you not know how this works at this point? It's been going on for decades in television. How do you not know this? Right. You mean all those celebrities who go on the Tonight Show just don't want to talk to Jimmy Fallon? They're... Yeah. No, no, they actually, yeah. they have a movie out. It's, coincidentally, they just yeah, they have movies weird. coming out yeah. that weekend. Who knew? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. yeah, they're actually not close friends with Fallon at all. <laughs> yeah. you know, they see him once or twice a year. To be honest, that's how many fans they have—a thousand. Their their subscriber number hasn't gone up in forever. And Carl, if you're watching, let me know next time your Patreon goes up at all. Oh, Kevin's go up oh. in four thousand in one day or something like that. Yeah, it was two thousand in one day, which you know that's normal. Well, that's <laughs> weird. Maybe maybe our guy got a hold of him. I don't know, but uh, look at this: thirteen point six, and uh, we're we're coming up on I six. Will- I will say this to KB. Just asked when the last time my Patreon went up. Why are you looking yeah. at my Patreon? Why are you so interested in that? I have no idea what his Patreon's at. It doesn't bother me in any way. I'm right it's with you. That I have, well, not really when you're the focus of his entire world, Carl. It's not that weird. Uh, especially, can we just admit it? Kevin is jealous of everybody. Yeah. that That's what it if all comes to. you're jealous to. about your brother, you're jealous about everyone. That's true. Yeah. We we don't stand a chance. If he's fucking and thirteen uh point six, the same since April. Yeah, the same since those two thousand were added. Oh, hmm. that's normal. Yeah, that's how that works. Yeah, <laughs> and his channel's been up how long? Like eight years longer than ours. Hmm. Yeah, fans. That's how many fans they have. A thousand. Their their subscriber number hasn't gone up in forever. And Carl, if you're watching, let me know next time your Patreon goes up at all. Carl's another guy who thinks he's killing. Carl, you're either- <laughs> <laughs> There's the quote. It's not less. It's just not as many. There's yeah. the quote. 
Patreon hasn't gone up at, in like years. As far as I know, years. So let me know if it goes up at like even uh, 5%. <laughs> let me know if it goes up. But Carl's another guy who's killing it. Uh, Carl's another guy who's fucking killing it, you know. Because we did a show in Detroit on a Friday and we sold 200 tickets. Wow. But again, if they were real. She's cooking. Well, first off. Um, I own two more houses than Kevin Brennan does. So I don't care about one live <laughs> show in Detroit that we sold out. You don't have to make the room look like it's two. Yeah. Right? No, yeah. no. I, I have zero dividers. Each room I, I think is a perfect size. You're not broadcasting from a, a fitting room at Nordstrom's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in here. <laughs> don't you see the tag on the door? But they've been touring all the time. And the Shula and Bob, when was that? You did May 15th or May 11th? When was the pots down? Six months later, not one new gig, no gigs for, for the for the for the Uncle Rico tour. How many gigs has he done? Mm, yeah, he can't even leave his house. Gino's gonna bit slap him if he goes out. <laughs> it's like he leaves his house like the like the final stage of American gladiators. It's just people waiting behind doors, people with fucking tennis ball guns. He's gotta run this gauntlet just to get out. He complains out. about everything that he doesn't do. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the other thing. Like, like so his last gig was what having 13 people come to Atlantic City and watch him play poker. And two of those were my my brother and sister in law, by the way. Yes, yes. good people. Good Nobody's people. perfect. They Nobody's are good perfect. people. Yeah, they were good people. No, it's I mean, it's so transparent right here because again, like Suttering John, he has credits in the past. He's not there anymore. He doesn't have that level of success anymore, and right. so he's so focused on us and what we're doing. I've been growing a show from scratch for the last seven years. I'm very happy with how things are going. The last thing I do is get on my show and start ragging on people. How many live shows you do this year, huh? How many, how many people showed up in Philadelphia? It's like, I don't give a fuck about these things. I'm worried about me. That's what success looks like, Kevin. When I don't have to worry about what you're doing or anyone else, I can just do what I'm doing. And every Preach. time he goes out and he says he's headlining, right? He always yeah. says he died five shows. He's not even, believe me, he's 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 a, a strong middle now. Well, and honestly, this is the worst part. And and Kevin, if you're watching, I, I apologize in advance. The worst part is that you actually are talented and funny and you've mm -hmm. squandered it all. You've ruined every relationship you have. Everyone hates you. Bobby Kelly... Chucked you up against the wall at the comedy cellar. You're not welcome there anymore. You have zero friends in the business, and you've caused this all on yourself. You could have done way better with your with your life. Yeah. Clip it, uh, mm -hmm. Genta. What is the deal with your sister in law asking to go on Stuttering John's show to talk about you and work it out? Say she's going to meet Tampa, meet to going to Tampa to meet Chad. Mm -hmm. She having a nervous wanted... breakdown. What's going on? She He's she is crawl. all in. She is oh all in God. on all this stuff. I I God. saw her later that day when she was messaging with John Sunday morning. Like, send me the link. Send me the link. So I'm like, what did you want to talk to him about? She wanted to, you know, talk to him about certain points he was bringing up that were incorrect or he was exaggerating. Oh. I'm like, you don't have to get yourself that involved. Oh, you I appreciate it. You got to put. Yeah. She's yeah. in too deep, Carl. Yeah. She's in too deep. You got to pull her out. Yeah. Now she's your consigliere. Oh yeah. my God. She's, she's Donnie Brasco. She forgot who she is, where she is. She's too deep, man. Unbelievable. Yeah, my Wikipedia, let it say all kinds of things. <laughs> he he's, say John. It he's John. He's <laughs> John. Yeah, he, he thinks Wikipedia decides what to say. <laughs> someone in the chat. Uh, someone in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Nan Cram's picture. It's came out. Oh my God. <laughs> Told Opie to send you the link. So he put the link in the chat. I was praying you join. Wait, last night? Uh, I couldn't join. I was at the phone. Did he answer you yet? Did he answer you I yet, Kevin? Funk yeah. No, I'm not going to join. I mean, <laughs> it's. It, Wait, I got to hear that again. Last night? I couldn't join. I was at the function. I was at the function. No, I'm not going to join. I mean, it, it, at this point, it's like they all think, you know, John does the same thing where he's like, I used to be famous. So I'm so I'm still famous. I'm still relevant. It, I mean, <laughs> is this insane or what? <laughs> wow. Like, you're not. You're not. You're not. You watch it. John, watch your show. 
It's sad. It's sad. You know, every every super chat is a troll. Oh, every super chat is going up. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> every super chat's been a troll on this show so far, and this is also <laughs> said. And they both repeat themselves for yes. two hours straight because they just mm-hmm. want to be online long enough to get as many super chats as possible. They haven't actually organized material. They don't know what they're going to talk about. They have two talking points and they repeat it for two hours. It's the same thing. Oh, pot me kettle is right. Uh, it's just the Kevin. Oh, you- Kevin is slightly more funny and, and, and better on his feet than John is. But other than that, it's the same mm-hmm. format. Right. It's that's, that's a low bar. <laughs> well, and, 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 and both are funny for very different reasons. Mm-hmm. You know, very different reasons. Uh, one of them knows it; the other one doesn't. So you right. know, both, both both equal funny. You you got to take off, buddy. Uh, or I do. I got to. Uh, uh, well, if you want to um, hit a little bit no, more no. of this package, and then I do have to yeah. prep and, and get prepared for who are these socials at six. Yeah. You just let me I know believe, you got a bit. Yeah, I have to leave at five thirty-two okay. for Mister Krabby's Randolph, New Jersey. Go see Mike tonight if you can. Uh, we got a, we got a, a interesting guest for next week that Mike is, uh, well, that's all I'll say. Yeah, just yeah. Surprise Mike. With Your kid. It's fucking sad. It's depressing. Opie's depressing. He's not that fucking <laughs> beer show. And now, and, and he had been talking about, I'm going to do a new show. I got a new show that I think is going to be a hit. It's like, that's not how shows work. Yeah, but at least the fucking guy is trying, dude. At least he's making an effort. He's trying, he's throwing shit at the wall to see what sticks, as Carl said. Uh, you, you know, this guy just sits there and and literally relies on the super chats, or else he has nothing to say, nothing, other than argue about the same five people every goddamn day. You do the show, and then if it's a hit, it's a hit. If it's not, it's not. You don't decide if a show is a hit or not, because then everybody's show. Surely, would you look at this? Would you look at this? Even Brennan's fans are bored of watching MLC today. (laughs) (laughs) And then in the same show, he said he left a lot of money on the table when he left the Shuley Network. Who? A lot of money? They don't even have a lot of money, but somehow you left a lot of money there? Ray said he got $200 last month. But a whole month of September when they paid him October 21. Okay, he got if, Okay, September. hold on. If Ray gets 200 a month, then and how did he give them $900? The guys in the back. Well, that's exactly what I was saying when I heard this figure of him saying that in 900 and By the way, the 200 is what he's making on his show. Mm-hmm. It's not what I am paying him. You understand? He's he's had months where he's made 500, 600. He ain't making that money and hasn't been making that money in quite some time. So for him to turn around and go, I'm still owed for two months, which you're not. You're owed for one month, uh, but he hasn't broken 300 or 400 dollars in the last four months. So where are you getting 900 dollars from? I do own my house. Uh yeah, you know there's not bragging. So <laughs> like one, uh, I can drive well, it right. Hero like Kevin lot. doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. We're twenty third because the twenty first fell on a Saturday. But I'm not gonna tweet out. I'm not gonna do it because then Bob will be like, maybe I should do it out of the coffin now. No, I do have two other times. That's a great impression. Uh, I do it at regular times. Saturday night. Remember. Bob's never once said to me, we need to go on when he goes on. He doesn't. Once he left, he left, Bubba. He don't care. He's not obsessed with you like you are. It's he's okay, happy. sweetie. He's happy. To find another good boy. <laughs> <laughs> he's happy. He's enjoying himself. He's doing shit that he wants to do on his net. He's getting his shit up and running. Yeah. And, and then- by leaving, by the way, and you not paying me, had people contact me and go, I want to be in your business. I want to. Right, right. Yeah, you're saying the way you got fucked by him actually led to these other opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when they did have a seat? They do that a couple of weeks with the guy who delivers, Zenhauser. He always delivers. Oh, Zenhauser's a million times better on the air than than Brennan. Hundred. I mean, it it, it doesn't even, please. Always delivers. He delivers uh, uh, jokes and he delivers food. And and booze. 
And uh, remember, they did. I have like a when seat Zenhauser, of- one of my favorite bits he does on the BS show is when he talks about how much money Ray DeVito made and yeah. talks about how Ray DeVito's complaining about how much money he made. And you guys talk about <laughs> how much money everybody makes. That's always yeah, a good isn't bit. That great? Isn't that great? <laughs> Zen loves doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Full of weeks. And then they got their channel shut down because they, I guess, that uh, Chris Hansen is, is very strict with pedophiles and people who steal content. So, uh, so I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna... well, at least, at least stealing content came after pedophilia. Thank you for ranking the problem. <laughs> yeah, right. I can tip people off that I'm not doing a show on Saturday night. So then Julie will be like, oh, what shall I do? It's so great watching the whole. <laughs> hey, Zan, what's up? My food's here. I'll be right back. Guys. Fucking world turn against the fucking Julie's of the world. Isn't it? Isn't it delicious to watch? Everybody hates them. Everybody hates them. That's probably why Bob's doing the Bobby verse now. Uh, like, look at that. Oh, what the fuck was Whoa. that? Again, he's John. Again, now he's spitting all over himself. Look at this. Everybody hates them. That's probably why Bob's doing what? the Bobby verse now. Watch. Like, you know, get, it, get it back in there. Ooh. Get it back in there. Ooh, Grandpa, meeting. you're upset. You're upset, Grandpa. <laughs> Relax. Grandpa, you- your chompers were going to fly out and hit the monitor again. <laughs> it's almost like he said these potatoes are cold, and then he went into that. <laughs> he just had tapioca face. I got to distance myself from this Shuli guy. This Shuli guy is bad news. People don't like him. That's true, Bobby. Uh, does he yeah, mean you don't he's... like him. That's yeah, it. he doesn't have the balls. Or actually, I don't know that he doesn't have. No, he doesn't have the balls. And he's so old that he thinks he can't say Jew on uh, YouTube. So. <laughs> Uh, but the Jay Wood, <laughs> he's right. using the Jay Wood. <laughs> but most of the stuff he has to say about Jews is negative and bad. So he figures if he says my name, then people don't know that he loves that everybody hates Jews around the world right now. But that's oh, there's a new show coming on Netflix, Anti Semite, starring Kevin Bryan. <laughs> <laughs> <That's great. laughs> hey, Kevin, right. one picture. It's already better than anything you've done. Uh, this week one picture on on that note guys i'm going to uh bail thank you so much for having me on the show today it's been a lot of fun you, brother. Good to see you carl, carl I always love talking to you guys Make who are these.com is where you want to go yeah. to find all the things that i'm up to who are these broadcasters who are these socials who are these podcasts of course wherever you get podcasts subscribe listen watch the uh, channel of course the creepoff.com my buddy Vinny paulino and good to see Vinny back. He's uh, mm-hmm. unplugged and uh, defragging over there. He's getting <laughs> yeah. back to the real world. Uh, yeah. We'll see where this thing goes with Cardiff and, and John and the best is yet to come. Uh, go check out WATP. Hit subscribe on the YouTube as well because they're always cranking out great stuff. Thank you, Carl. As always, buddy. Thanks, guys. See you. We go Later. Later. All right. Well, I'm going to split in a minute too. So. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you, you know what? Yeah, let's we let's that. get rid of all the dead weight. Let's. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh. Right. You no, know, we have a severance package for you. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Rochester one summer, 20 years ago. I think the stool is still frozen <laughs> solid inside my body. I enjoy Carl's fake, <laughs> fake enthusiasm. I deserve it. Uh, behind my paywall seen a commercial hey, for Rochester it said uh, you gotta come in April <laughs> <laughs> member for one month thank you Rob appreciate it buddy welcome welcome to the fam uh, uh, suck my John, dick John Spittle suck it hard. my dick twice back to back Bob's fake pool Shuey here is a 10 spot to tip the garbage <laughs> man <laughs> No, thank you for both. He doesn't say much, but when he does, all hail Sniper Mike. Agreed. Thank you. The like button. Suck my dick. Thank you, Mister Spittle. He's got a great bat. Suck my dick. One more. Uno mas. I always thought uh, Kevin Brennan was stupid. After seeing the picture of him with that yellow helmet bike on, I am convinced (laughs) he has Down syndrome. King of Pennsylvania. Thank you for the five. More stupidity and failures coming down the pike. Uh, uh, <laughs> suck my dick. Five. Pete D, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. We're very close to 3,000 subscribers. Pat Oates, watching Opie versus watching Jake Hudson. There you go. He, he's saying Opie's better than Jake hmm. uh, to watch. 
I distinctly remember Aunt Karen saying to Shuli on the Kumia show that his wife was a huge fan. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. When we did that gig together, she came downstairs and asked for a picture with me. Hmm. And he was like, she does. She's never asked. He goes, I work with Atel, Louie. He goes, she's never asked to take pictures. Wow. Yeah. Uh, like when, like when Stuttering John brought a portable TV to a Broadway show <laughs> to watch a baseball game, then got upset at the usherette for telling him to turn it off. What a clown. Wow. Any comedian that goes on KB shows the equivalent to passing a unit union picket line. Mm -hmm. I'll never support them or give them a penny of my business. Pay Bob FKB. Thank you, Tom. Uh, I think I hate KB more than stuttering John twilight zone. Wow. Could be. <laughs> the toss up Bob trying to change the setting on his phone <laughs> is a thousand times funnier than any KB bit. I mean, <laughs> the drops from it alone. Are just epic. Display home screen, no wallpaper. Home screen, <laughs> general control panel. Display home screen. It's, it's. I mean, battery, app store, no uh, wallpaper. <laughs> Fantastic. It is. Maybe looks like he's behind. Uh, like he's, he's behind being held, held. Be, being held hostage somewhere. Yeah. Somebody in that house is. I once tried watching KB and he was sipping margarita mix, laughing like a retard and acting like he was drunk. All it was was a sugar rush. <laughs> he got excited. <laughs> then he passed Can't get out on the bike him. now. <laughs> <laughs> Long live the Rev. All hail. All hail. KB and Stuttering John equal most punchable has been openers. <laughs> Uh, my entire young life, I thought I was, uh, I, I, I was, th I was taught to always look for the good in everyone, but with KB, it's a struggle. Even with the voice, makes it impossible. Yeah. yeah. Everyone uh, hates me, and no one wants me to go poodling. And I think my life is in shambles. And Carl doesn't like mac and cheese. And Shuli said he is sick of the damn poodling. I don't know what to doodle do. Help. <laughs> Let's talk later. DM me, doodle. Poodle. <laughs> Little doodle. Stop saying I support stuttering John. Who? Who's saying that? No, he's talking about uh maybe Carl. Oh, no, Lee, look, Lee Gal Shield. Oh, that's great. KB is married to who? A deaf woman? <laughs> I bet she wishes. Yeah. She was very nice when I met her. She's sweet, very sweet woman. Yeah, yeah. FKB, FSJ, FRD. Hi, Fred. <laughs> you talking about Fred Electric? <laughs> <laughs> God bless DD, discount Don, and Frog for having to watch this track. Mm -hmm. Boom! Yeah, it ain't easy. That's why the producers make good money. Uh, chemistry between you guys, undeniable. Boom! Oh, thank you, boss. Oh, thanks. KB is just mad because he spent all his money on that stylish bike helmet and cute outfit for going to run his wife's air his wife's errands. Uh, it would upset me too. Mike has been frozen for three weeks. This this just in, guys. I'm thawing out, baby. Suck my dick. Thank you, Mr. Spittle. Respect. Suck my dick. Bob Lieberman, thank you. Always has the truth. Another good one. Always a good one. Uh, F Phil Blockmore, coward. <laughs> Did Phil block it? KB, you're fucking with my money. Also, KB, Stutter John, don't do Carl's show. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. The Devil Verse reminds me of watching soap operas with my grandmother many years ago. Yeah, good point. John Caludi, KB looks like Frankenstein with AIDS while going through head lice treatment. Great shows all week long, guys. Thank you. Thank you, John. Uh, what an evil, jealous, discarded 7-Eleven hot dog FKB. Fred Garvin, male prostitute. prostitute. The following announcement has been paid for by the Tukey World Order. Fuck KB. Oh, haka, haka, haka. <laughs> by the way, uh, uh, Buffalo put out a great tweet uh, uh, on Twitter. In, in one minute, you're complimenting him on BS this morning. And then when you're having an issue with something, he tweeted you. <laughs> you're like, shut the fuck up, you fucking idiot. It like, goes from loving him to shitting on him. It was hilarious. Uh, the Shuleys had a meeting, uh, Shuley, 
You didn't make income requirements this fiscal season, so we're going to banish you to Alabama. Shalom. <laughs> I've been downgraded. I've been demoted. Oof, that's tough. I disagree. Dennis Michaels, a legend, this guy. Legend. Love Dennis. I disagree with the pulling of the pension out early being a bad move. He won't live that long, so what's the point? Would you really bet John live? It's excellent point. Yeah. But, so. but let me ask you this. Do you think he pulls it out because of that reason? No, he pulled it out because he needed it. Yeah. Did he pull it out and come all over his stomach and clean it up with his shirt? <laughs> Squeegee. Uh, so many laughs, so much comedy. TSN saves us. Mean Gene in Florida. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Getting high on weed is the most racist thing one can do. Joe, what the fuck, man? Do you even like poodles anymore? <laughs> Do you not understand trans black lives die every day from pot? Trans black lives matter. Thank you, Doodle. It's about time somebody spoke up. Mike is an excellent bottom. Well, well okay. You are almost double Auntie Karen's live numbers now. Oh. I feel sad for Carlos Danger. Well, you know. We all we all go where we want to go. Mm -hmm. uh, Rick's wings and rings. You don't have to be rich like KB to enjoy the best jewelry and <laughs> wings around. <laughs> Just to head on down to Rick's wings and rings. Today's specials are half pints and twenty percent off birthstone ring. <laughs> <laughs> Suck my dick. Oh. 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 I swallow cum. Thank me. I never had a desire to go into the middle. <laughs> the commercials. My dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He has the best. He has the best. I'm yeah. sorry. I know Dodo's good. Who is that good. now? Who is that? Yeah. <laughs> Believe <laughs> him. No, but like, who is that? That's like my maniac cop. The guy had like the big weird. Oh, face. that's right. I think that's oh it. God. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Where was the? Where's that porn picture of Bob that I sent you? I beg your pardon. The one, the one with the where he has the his eyes open. Yeah. Oh, where did that's I put it. That's in here somewhere. Yeah, find it and put that. That's one of my favorite pictures of Bob ever. Uh, I'm a true TSN fan and supporter. I come here to laugh and have fun. I support Carlos Show and his Patreon, and I bounce around diverse, spreading love and joy everywhere I go, except for Deptford. That's where I bring the pain. Fuck Barry Levy, bitch. Here we go. I uh, have training videos coming. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Usually. A... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the best. The best. I'll never get old. Usually a sativa gal feeling like a rebel today. Now I'm high mm. as a frog. Good. You enjoy it. You earned it. Stuttering John puts a show. How many cookies did Levy eat? <laughs> Stuttering John <laughs> puts to Kevin, he puts on a show. I will say it's more entertaining, but not for anything he's doing. It's right. not like right. he's planned it to be that way. But I will say I can watch John. I can't watch Kevin. Oh, Jesus Bill Christ. Elmore. Already fucking Big Daddy Dodo. What the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> My God. That was, <laughs> that was fast. really fast. Oh. <laughs> uh... Wow. Frank, 20 bucks. Phil Elmore is great. He made one mistake. Move on. That is yeah. why pencils have... Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, uh, Thank you, Frank. Uh, sure. Suck my dick! Flutie with a gifted. Thank you, pal. Appreciate it. Suck my dick! Another one? Wow. Back, mm. back to back. I like it. Uh, KB, classic look, lock of faith in his own abilities. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, you ain't kidding, pal. I found a picture... Of Bob in my wife's beaver shaving kit. What's going on? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Truthfully. Anything you want to say? Anything you want to fill him in I on? I didn't no? even know I was there. Maybe she wanted her bush to look like the top of your head and she needed reference. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Dudley, thank you for the five, buddy. Appreciate it, man. I'm you trying want to, me to look do like it? a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin is so jealous of his brother, Neil, the real talented one. I mean, let's face it. He created it. Uh, let's face it. He created the Ch uh, Chappelle show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. him and uh co-creator, right? Yep. Carl can't leave. He still has to tell us what he thinks of Phil's hand to hand <laughs> combat. Fuck. I'm sorry. Dang. I didn't see it. 
Can't believe I didn't have KB become transgender on my 2023 bingo card. Boom! <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to hop off. Love Later, you. Later, Mikey. See you guys tomorrow. Of course. Have you got fun. It. Tell him I said hello. Didn't know a plastic. Are you guys ready to have some fun now? Or yeah, what? Let's, let's take this up a notch. Come on. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, uh, he's gone. Uh, uh. All right. Didn't know uh, a plaster bag worm could wear glasses. <laughs> Boom. How dare you, frog? I agree. I don't know what it's about, but I agree. Thanks to Bob. Any minor inconvenience I have, I just go, I can't live like this. Where's that yeah. drop? There it is. Uh, I can't live like this. <laughs> but no, no, how did it, it didn't come like that? It didn't come out like that. It's goon bullshit. Crusher. You, you goon crusher. Something. Yeah, goon crusher tweaked it a little bit, which he knows uh, how much I love your technical difficulties. So he just added that sound. To Thanks to Bob. Any minor inconvenience? Uh, yeah, I I can't live like this. But people said that was maybe the funniest thing they heard all week on the show. Pick up a pen, KB. Write some jokes. Long live TSN. Thank you, sir. Boom. Hail Satan, uh, dabblers and demons. The yeah, testicle test tiger. Yeah. PCL Friday. Friday, yeah. maybe. Seven month membership. Uh, what what a Good. gift from the testicle tiger. To say yeah. the testicle tiger is a member here. I mean, that's a brag not too many people can have. I appreciate it. Thank you, Tiger. I believe it would be easier to understand a conversation with Beetlejuice than it is with Bob. How do I get a $5 membership? I had one, but it was seven. <laughs> that sounded like a Beetlejuice sentence. How did I get a $5 membership? I had one, but it was seven. No, we've uh, surely we've been through this before. So Apple, if this guy is most likely on an iPhone or iPad because Apple adds a fee to your purchase. It's not a YouTube thing and it's not an us thing. Well, also, here's another fun fact that I just realized. Uh, you uh, are a member, according to what I see, Chris. You have uh, the membership logo thing. So somebody gifted you one. You, you're in. You're in. Thank you for the four ninety nine, bud. Uh, Delco, Chris. My oh, man. Dick. He's always good to go like that. Uh, KB, one of the journalists embedded with hummus. Yeah, he would go. I'm just kidding. It would be, Suck he could my have, dick. Oh, oh. Oh. I swallow cum. Thank me. Joseph. Von Garble. Wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh. Hold on. That picture was actor Rob Zadar. So they, that's a maniac cop guy, right? Thank you, Donald. KB is like if Judy Carter war <laughs> wrote Mein Kampf. <laughs> that's a good pull. Uh, all right. We're caught up. Uh, Bob, let's do a little more. A little more. A little, little more. more. A little more. Yeah, come on. Let's it. do like two more hours. You know what, fuckface? Why don't you do two hours of silence? <laughs> Sound. 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 Uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> News. People don't like, like him. That's true. Bobby verse now. He's like, you know what? I, I gotta, I gotta get distance it. myself from this Shuli guy. This Shuli guy is bad news. People don't like him. That's true, Bobby. People do not like Shuli. That's a fact. They like, they like you. <laughs> Boss Howard Stern, the legend, Bob, right? He says Shuli's a snake. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's why he kept me there 15 huh? years. He's Feeding the mice. And when did Howard call me a snake exactly? I missed I that know. episode. Yeah, I don't know. He's a snake. Little snake of a man. It's him wanting. He's dying to say Jew. He's he's dying to call me the, the uh, yeah. you know, the K word. He's dying. He would love to say, it. just be a man for once in your life and say it. Text it to me if you don't want to. If you don't want to commit it to public, text it to me like you did uh, when uh, the massacres happened in Israel. That at least Matthew Perry he did on Twitter. For some clout, right? Yeah, hell yeah. Let me tell you what oh. kind of guy he is. He texts me, uh, laughing about what's going on in Israel, mocking it. That's Good who man. he is. So you can call do what do what you got to do, Bubba. Maybe it's karma. Maybe texts like that are the reason why you're at six hundred, five hundred every afternoon now. Maybe 
And he oh ended his stream God. early. When was the last time he was off the air at 5.30? Are you oh, serious? I am oh, sure. Hi, serious. Kevin. He's got to be watching. Yeah, Hi. I'm sure he ended it for a reason other than not wanting to get his ass kicked. I'm sure. What is he, 5'6"? Mm -hmm. Fuck you up. <laughs> Panhandler, ten dollars. Shut the fuck up, Ray. Is Ray here? Yep. Ray in the chat. <sighs> now he's starting to Ray. have issues. Ray, like, uh, you didn't leave a like John. He start up oh. a lot of money at the table. Ray, you've never left the money, a lot of money at any table as a tip or in any which way. I left a lot of money on the table when I left the show. Hey, Ray, this is what you ran to. This is what you ran to yeah. with open arms, huh? Enjoy, Bubba. Play network. You didn't. You did it. Me and me and Adam. You better hope you're gonna roast somebody every month, pal. Asked you how much you got paid for September. You said it's somewhere between 200 and 300. So that means you're getting 50 dollars a show. That's not a lot of money. Uh, uh, Chandler and Borgo and and again, I just want to reiterate: there's no flat rate fee for people here. I can yeah. tell you, replayables make a lot more money than Ray makes. A lot more. And that's because they have a show where the super chats are involved. That's how you make your money here. That was the only thing I could offer people is an opportunity for more people to watch and listen to your shit. And if they dig it and they like you, then they super chat you. And that's how, you, and that's how you make money. What, what would you pay Ray? If you ran a YouTube channel, what would you pay Ray for a show? Cause, hey, cause well. Kevin, cause Kevin didn't, didn't pay Ray for fucking two months. Yeah. Yeah, it was eight shows. Yeah. Remember when Ray came crying to us about how Kevin yeah. owes him for eight shows? Yeah. Yeah. And he also that. told us that Kevin pays him $75 a show. So roughly $25 more than he was making per show here. Yeah. Yeah. We're playables. Absolutely. You, we, we can talk about the views all you want. I've talked about it uh, at nausea, as John says. And, uh, the fact of the matter is the views don't make them uh, any money. Never have. It's all, it's super chats here. That's it. So they make money with super chats. Talk all the shit you want. They make very good money. It's why they're here. It's why they'll continue to be here. Ray's never, Ray's never made even close to what these guys make. And vaping have already compensated you for the roast. Way more than $200, Ray. The $200. They've already made it up. So you fucking chiseling nothing of a chin uh, for you to be like, I'm, I'm taking, I, I took a. So it's, anyway. It's, that's it's, the point. This is he wants to, he doesn't want to be dealing with bullshit. That's why he went here. Well, and also it's ironic that, you know, a large payout comes and then all of a sudden he doesn't want to be friends with people anymore. Do you think that's interesting? Mm -hmm. I'm never going to, I'm never going to tweet if I'm not doing a show. I'm not going to tip off any other show that like, Hey, Brendan's not doing a show. Maybe, maybe we should jump in and jump in the void. Because again, you know, hold on. Man. <clears throat> Why do they pay for views then? I don't fucking know. That's why I said from the start. It's the dumbest fucking thing I heard of because it had no bearing whatsoever on them making money. Like if I, I if I put a new that. show on here and they have 10,000 live viewers, but they make $30 in super chats. Yeah. Then what am I keeping that show for? That's what they're going to get. You That's right. Get, you know? So whether it's 100 people that watch them, 80 people that watch them, 60, 40, 20, there's a core group of people in there that support that show. Like you guys support the stuff we do and they mm -hmm. donate and they give and they enjoy it. So I don't know how that's hurting anybody. I don't know how that's bothering anybody, but that's the reality. Joe should have a show. All right, everybody calm down. Yeah. Calm down yeah. with this. Now we're reaching. People are like I'm paranoid. Am I? They were doing a show. They were doing a show every day at four. <laughs> and then they and then they started doing the Saturday show, have a seat. But I guess that didn't work. And Bobby's probably like, "Hey, my wife gets mad when I do a show every day." So they were doing a show every day. They do. Uh, no, that, well, your wife all, watches Kevin. everything we do. Your wife watches yeah. and supports and is hilarious right, in the exactly. chat. Participates. Yeah. yeah. But but this your is wife the, is hidden. You're <laughs> she's hidden. 
but this is the thing about him is he he will just make up whatever comes to mind. He, you have to understand 99% of what this guy says is bullshit. Yeah. The show Sunday night, they do Monday through Friday, and then they're doing Saturday. Just to take me down, it wasn't working. We've been doing this but, since but the I'm beginning. But I'm not going to say how much I showed it. Yeah. No, he, how long have we knows. been doing it for? He knows. Hold on. Where did that tweet go? Nothing. Where did it? Oh, here it is. This is the funniest Mike Morris has been on the show. Thank you. Night. Hey, thank you. <laughs> but they, they deserve each other. They're all losers. Shuli's a fucking loser. Imagine being yeah. a Shuli where all I care about is money. And That's you. That is exactly everything that he yells about is him. That's the fucking crazy shit. Shuli has none. He had to move to Alabama. He had to move to Alabama to afford a house. And for Shuli, that's the lowest of the low. And, and they don't even like them there. So no, I think staying at the Roosevelt in Manhattan right now would be pretty goddamn. I would I would constitute that as the lowest of the low. But the fact that he couldn't even stay with his people because he was he's so broke. My people? My people? My people? What people? I don't know. Is he talking about Israel? That I should have moved to Israel? What am I? I have people? no idea. My people in New York? I was surrounded by Muslims. What the fuck are you talking about? It wasn't a dumb enough Jew that lived in that area that I, I ever met in my life. Actually, there was one. He goes, get in. You got to get out of here. And I, I didn't get in fast enough. That's embarrassing. <laughs> and stuttering John. I mean, he's like, I'm doing great. You're not. You're doing. You're it's sad. Watching a show is sad. He's in a fitting room. Yeah. It's amazing. He's getting like uglier and and a neck is like you know, I mean, uh, who's he talking about being ugly? I think Who? he's talking about himself. <laughs> it's just but it's like again, the fact that they think he's something now cuz he did this whole work about that they were coming to get him cuz about Joey C. Um, oh, Paul stole his cocaine. And they were coming to get him, and and yeah, yep, yep, that's what happened. And they're coming to get him. So Julie's like, everyone's talking about Joey C. Yeah, and yeah, just like they, everyone's talking about Stuttering John in a good way. You're right. He's so mad at Joey C because Joey C fucks with him like every day. Not only that, but Joey C is good on our show, and and we mm -hmm. know how to work with Joey C, and Joey C knows how to work with us, and he's getting better with every rep, and he just yeah. he's just mad, he's mad yeah. that he couldn't get the money out of John that he needed to cover the three grand, which again, super fans paid for that. that so you you've just been constantly taking advantage of your audience. You know, whatever we get, it's up to them. There's no requirement for people here to donate to gift memberships, to go behind the wall with us. And for a, a while, no, not a lot of people came behind the wall with us. But these people, look. Suck my dick. Uh, uh, I swallow cum. Thank me. What, what happened to your head? But like people who watch his show, they have to, well, okay, if you want this bit to happen, send send me $1,500, send me this, send me that. Can't wait for the dance competition coming up soon, probably. <laughs> But but again, if you're doing so great and and the money's great, especially now that you don't have to pay Bob, um, mm -hmm. then why are your fans having to cover prizes for for contestants? You know, everyone's talking about them in a good way. Come on, Bobby! Is Bobby even monetized? Is he even monetized? Hold on. Yeah. Oh my God. What a pathetic. Hold person. on, everybody. I told you he's turning into Stuttering John. Uh, Julie's so broke, he had to buy a four bedroom house on three or five acres in Alabama. Of course, yeah, listen, I'm not, it's not about details. Six bedrooms, two acres. Hold on, everybody. He doesn't even know how you would get it anyway. No. <laughs> he has no idea that you need hours, you need 
a certain amount of people. Same with a house in Alabama. You don't just show up and get one. Yeah. yeah. Actually, we had to we had to pay quite a bit to to get this house. I, guess. I was definitely broke after it. That's for sure. <laughs> Jimmy I. Where's Jimmy I? Yeah, but he pays more for his two-bedroom apartment, so he's winning. I know. Hold on. I got a business call real quick. I got to answer. Hello? Hey, buddy. What's up? Hi, how are you doing, man? I'm good, Shawnee. Are you heading home? Yes. Okay. I'm I'm on the air. We're wrapping up, but uh, 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 hit me up later. We'll test your equipment. Okay. All right. Say you want to say hi to the, to the listeners. Uh, hi, hi to the li- 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 listeners. And yeah, there you go, folks. Thank you, buddy. Love you. Bye. That's, I'm I'm grooming him as a, a candidate to run against Tan Mom. We're gonna have that debate next <laughs> week on the show. So I want to make sure his equipment's tested. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, <laughs> he sounded just like Chippa. Gotta <laughs> change that? his panties now. <laughs> oh. Uh, damn it. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, I guess I don't know. Oh, yeah, here it is. God damn, damn it. it. <laughs> I got Jimmy I. Where's Jimmy I? God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Wait. I can't. How am I going to do the lowest? I'll do the lowest thing tomorrow. Anyway, he's basically <laughs> saying it's pretty long. It's not long, long, but it's pretty long. Uh, again, again. But again, it was like. So great at painting a picture, Kevin, huh? Amazing, right? Lewis was like, oh, you're our most. This is when I first started podcasting. He goes, you're our most requested. Uh, podcast or whatever personality or whatever and then i come on they just they they just they they just they basically didn't don't even acknowledge me so i'm like well, that's I, why because it's funny that they they ignore you and it works well mm-hmm. the queens did not be acknowledged after i was told that i was the guest i was their most requested newest person to have on I'm like, all right, so Lewis played me good, good. He didn't play. What he doesn't understand is he thinks he's coming on to a show that has a format, that has a style yeah. of, of how they work and what they do. And he thinks they're just going to abandon all that and sit there and fucking bow to him for two hours about how great he is. Doesn't work yeah. that way. Yeah. You got to find you're not gonna read. Yeah, you're not reading Super Chats. How, how do you do a show? Yeah, and of course... He doesn't do well on that because he doesn't know he, he's, he's he doesn't have the confidence. He doesn't have the ability. So so what's the easiest thing to do? Blame Lewis for it. The fuck it. It's everybody's <laughs> fault, but his. Uh, who does that sound like? Who does that sound like? <laughs> All right. So last clip, and then we're going to wrap it up. Well, I'm gay. I'm gay. Okay. <laughs> Last clip, but uh, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. So everybody, uh, what happened? What happened? It's getting late, Gabby. You waking him up? Uh oh. Hey. Is that what that was? Can you can you act like a cunt in the daytime, Kevin? We're trying to have a family thing here. <laughs> but uh, you know, it is what it is. So everybody, Whoa. uh, uh, uh duh. <laughs> But I'm pathetic. I'm yes. gay. Yes. <laughs> Please, I'd like that drop to the collection. Twenty-one thirteen. That's gay. <laughs> Starting to sense a the theme. Okay. Uh, who's my favorite sister? I don't think I. I. I, I can't even. I don't think even. I even have I one. Can. I just can't. I'm estranged. When you're a stranger, ah, look you know things is. look ugly when you're alone. Oh, look at this loser. Oh, look at the loser. That sounds like John. How's your family? Why don't you save your money for your pathetic family? That's what Mel was like. How many people live in that shitty apartment that Joey C has? Oh my God, he has his own network. Are you like Shuli? Catalog. I live in your apartment. 
<laughs> Pack, you are nuts. I don't lie. Yeah, I bet square footage versus people footage. He might have less people in his place than you do. Uh, you talk, talk, talk. You are so jealous of me and my show. What show? <laughs> what show? You talk, him, send the link, send the link. So you keep talking about, right. You're, this is the new Gino thing. You're talking about me. You're talking about me. So I'm winning. But Kevin, they're not wrong. They're not, if they're not addressing you and you are addressing them every day, then they are winning. They are in your head. Wait till Gina right. comes on the show. Oh, let's go. Watch the uh, clip I put up, Joey. Wait, next episode, Gino Bisconti. We'll have to set yeah. that up. Joe, Melton's talking about you. You're not winning. You're a loser. You're a clown. You have no talent. You're a pimp. You have nothing. What's up, pimp? All right. Let's uh 2241. Right, frog? Yeah. Yep. Got that? Nice. Uh okay. Let oh, we we still have wow, you guys are unbelievable today. Thank you. Uh, let's get through these and, and then everybody can go on uh with their business here. Even on my holidays, I can't stay away from TSN. Hi from the future. Theo Mantis. Love you, buddy. Thanks for checking in. Uh, this dude's a raging anti-Semite. Unbelievable. I, you know, I get accused of saying that all the time. So I will no longer accuse anyone of being anti-Semitic. Uh, even though I we're surrounded. KB looks like an unshelled turtle doing a sermon. That I like. <laughs> Eight, six, seven, five, why is Kevin alive? Mark's friggin' not able yeah. to watch live much lately. Real job sucks. Still tune in for the laughs when I can. Miss you guys. We miss you too, Thank brother. You, if he's, he's he's still on the East Coast, we're coming out yeah. January thirteenth. Come, come hang with us. Come be our yeah. guest. Uh, uh, Poughkeepsie. Two things Bob introduced to me: Ray and KB. Starting to question your judgment. I hate you, Bob. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> At the time, he was right about both, I think, you know? It's just uh, shit change. People changed, you know? Mm -hmm. Surgery done, ticker ticking, never use pills, but it's better than sex. Didn't even wish death on KB. Thank you all for keeping me laughing on my worst days. Ah. Hey, ABL, thank you, buddy. Thanks for being a member for five months. Glad you're feeling better. Uh, dramatic Levy Gopher. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. That's a good one. I like that. <laughs> Uh, painkiller. I've seen male turkeys with less neck meat display. <laughs> That's killer. Watching lazy, unprepared comics complain about making $50 an hour for babbling about nothing is insulting to the millions who work hard for much less. These guys want full time pay for one to two hours of work. Insulting. Boom. You're here. Rick's Wings and Rings, ladies and gentlemen, is a proud sponsor of the Shuley Network. And replayables. Love the content. Hit the like button, you cowards. You heard uh, Rick's wings and rings. Uh, hey, Shu and Reverend Bob, this is great. Really like Levy versus with Hackwright. But, Bob, please ask him to change that voice. Hard to watch him scream FKB. Hard to watch him scream. That'll be one show. That'll be one show. <laughs> so in other words, Bob says no. He's not changing the voice. No, but no, it's, it's one show that's going to be. We, I, we have many ideas. He's got it under control. All right, everybody, relax. That's all, that's all he's saying. I like this frog. Allegedly works for free and wants to do overtime. That's a passionate frog. Really we'll is. never find one better. He's we very him, happy here. We give him tough love. Why? I have no idea. We give uh -huh. him tough love, but it's making them stronger and it's making him the best frog possible. Yeah. You are the Lewis and Clark of the Shuleys. You were sent out to find a place where you don't have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, RJ. Bravo, brother. Uh, DJQ, 20 bucks. Thank you, DJ. Just because I like you guys. Keep up the great work. Thank you, brother. Thank you. And Dang Lizard, drop the needle anywhere also seems to work. You're right. We got to do it. We'll uh, work on that next week, too. We'll do some dropping the needle. Uh, listen, can't thank you guys enough, yeah. man.
Akeem Hackride, so talented. He, he's amazing. Yeah, talent. Yeah. Great, great guy, too. Um, tomorrow, we're back Friday morning with uh, BS. Um, so join us tomorrow morning. We're hanging out. We're doing the Shabbos together like we always do. And then in the afternoon, 4 o'clock, Point Dabble Point uh, will be on the channel. So uh, stay tuned for that as well. Bob, what do you got going on tomorrow? Are you doing any Levyverse stuff? Well, no, I got the Levyverse. Go up and sign up. And there's, uh, I did an episode of Levyland. I did an episode of Out of the Coffin. Uh, also, December 8th and 9th, I'll be at the Comedy Works in Bristol, PA. Go to ComedyWorksBristol.com. It'll be good. And check out dogwarriorsnc.com if you're looking for a beautiful dog without the hassle and they'll point you in the right directions. Uh, they got great pets there, dogwarriorsnc.com. Or if you're lucky enough, they will fly your pet out, pilotsandpours.org. Amazing people. Hit them up. Hook them up if you can. They do God's work for animals. Window yeah. update. Um. Hold on, and Hack Ride is on, on tonight at 11. Uh, what's he doing? Oh, he does his show at 11 o'clock. Uncle Jack, Comedy Works is 20 minutes from here. Yeah, come out, man. It's right near Philly and that shit. Come out. We'll have, and have a good time. Always a good time at a show. Um. Uh, oh, real quick. Zipix. Zipixtoothpicks.com uh, slash Shuli. S-H-U-L-I. Go check him out. If you're trying to quit smoking or uh, if you, you know, want something that can help you with your nicotine cravings while at sporting events, planes, whatever, planes, trains, automobiles, zipixtoothpicks.com slash Julie, get 10%. Uh, well, what do you get? What, what do they give you? 10% off their first order. 10% off your first order. You got to be 21, right? You do. Thank you. The hell. And then. Yeah. Puzzle then, box. Right. Puzzle box. Hack rides puzzle yeah. box. And then uh, 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 prize picks dot com slash rico uh mm -hmm. use code rico for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars go check them out it's really cool fantasy stuff because you're not picking defenses and team uh, players and, and you're just picking uh against projected stats very easy to do you match up a bunch of different stats you win some money they'll match your deposit up to a hundred bucks the, the withdrawals are quick and easy again you got to be 21 or older but go check out price picks Another loyal sponsor, just like Rick's Wings and Rings. So, and of course, Rustic Cuts. So, thank you to all our sponsors. Thank you to all of you guys for donating, supporting. Poughkeepsie, uh, Poughkeepsie, too, January yes. 13th. That's a big one. January 13th in Poughkeepsie, laugh it up, uh, comedy comedy. com. I believe is the is the is it Laugh It Up Club or Laugh It Up Comedy? I think it's it should be Laugh It Up Comedy, uh, whatever oh, comedy, just whatever. Just it, just go look, Laugh It Up Comedy dot com. Yeah, Laugh It Up it Comedy. The four of us will be there. A surprise or two, I'm sure, will be there. Uh, <laughs> my newspaper hat will be there. Come hang with us. Come have some fun. Yeah. Every ticket to meet and greet. Every ticket mm -hmm. you get to smoke weed with me if you bring your own weed. And yeah. uh, we're looking, uh, we're looking to have some fun, man. So come, and come in with us. Eminence Theater, uh, February twenty fourth. Eminence P A M M S, whatever the fuck you know. It's near, it's near. Uh, one Allentown. Of Allentown. Allentown. Yeah, it's near there. It's up in the mountains. Really cool, cool people, cool place. Come on out. We'll have more dates coming soon. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Surely looks like a newsie. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Hit subscribe, hit like on your way out. Thank you very much. We'll see you. Good night.